We went to India for 20 something days. And the last week we went to Dubai. Chocolate India. Don't get too tactical. Hold my Let me fucking speak, man. <laughs> You guys think it's all fun and games? There's a boxing match after every single pod is done. You look like son I'd spank up on a Saturday night. He sits right beside me drunk. And he puts his fucking hand on my knee slash thigh. In his head, he's probably like, brother, I just fought a demon. <laughs> the guy called him and he's like, probably asked him, like, did you pick the kids up? Because my mom's referring to us as kids, right? The guy was on the phone. He's like, Ye to pure bande hai, bhai. <laughs> <laughs> Why is everyone so quiet, guys? Welcome back to the Jeeches Podcast episode. What is it, Laraj? You gotta tell me. I never remember. Fifty-three? Two, no, it's fifty-two. You tripped me out because two. Like, it's I was about to say three. Then why did no. you ask me if you already knew yourself? Before we start, wait, talking. why are you talking to me? Oh wait, who? Wait, never mind. That's the guest here. Uh, we got a new co-host, guys. Um, Welcome back to the Jeeches Podcast episode. Fifty. No, no. Welcome to Jeeches Podcast episode. Fifty. Two. Two. Yeah, what do you call See, Love Raj right? always knows, bro. Love Why are you knows. talking? You're not part of this podcast anymore. Where you're my ex brother. I'm just fucking with my ex. Yeah. You know, when you coast, uh, he has the same skin color as my brother. And <laughs> exactly. Yes. Um, but yo, today's pod's gonna be rowdy. We're gonna talk about Dubai for too long, guys. Sorry. <laughs> okay, we do go. My brother here, just on the side. We had to switch up the seating. But we we're gonna. What are we gonna talk about, Love Raj? You tell him. Uh, well, this last, not the last pod, the pod before that. Where we just had the boys. We only that was filmed in like October. That was filmed in like October. After October, you're a lot yapping. Of shit. Get to the point. What are we gonna be After talking October, about? After October, a lot of shit happened. We went to <laughs> India for three weeks, and we also went to Dubai for one week. We also went to LA. Never talked about that. Maybe we'll slip it in here and there. Yeah, maybe we we'll slip it inside. Was LA for a couple of days. Slipped it inside LA for a couple of days. Pulled it right back yeah, out. It was like headed on back home. Half day, yeah. Okay, well, we're going to be talking about India. We went to India. If you don't know, now you know. We went to India for 20-something days. Chakade India. And the, and the last week, we went to Dubai. So we're going to be talking about all the stories, the wedding extravaganza, all that shit with you guys. And you guys are going to hear these wonderful stories. And uh, we're going to do the Red Bull crack before that because I need a Red Bull to get cracked. Loki, I really like this seat. I've never sat on this seat. By myself. But you're going to be sitting there every single time we do a pod now because... Uh, Amy I got kicked off the podcast, guys. New coast. Yeah, can we get a couple words from our co-host here? He hasn't get even said a word. It's your going pod, bro. Get a round of applause going for him. Fuck the round of applause. <laughs> Fuck it. Oh, yeah. You got a couple so, words or no? Yep. I'm a new host. Uh, that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to do this round of crack. Yo, I got three They taps. fucking replace me with this motherfucker. <laughs> One. Damn, you tapped the shit out of them. All right, you go. Everyone be quiet. Make you sure gotta put it, put it, put it. going first, bro. Oh, yeah. My God, bad. When, you, when you do it, put it like right here. My, my bad. Yeah. Uh, group so leader. Okay. Email actually owns a pod now. Ooh, that was a sexy one. Here I'll go. Everyone be quiet. Just slow strokes, not too fast. You were doing it kind of fast. Why is it all sexual, bro? Why the fuck do you speak up over my Red Bull? Cracks! You started speaking over it. That shit was Holy ass, anyways. Sh- no, it wasn't. Do you that see that? Ass. Did you see that? Comment down below if you thought that Red Bull crack yeah, was you, ass because it was ass. You thought it was ass because you're gonna hear it because your dumbass is always speaking all over it. it. Yeah, no. Yeah, the end. You didn't hear the beginning. It was... Tss, and then you spoke over that. And then I went... Fuck your Red Bull crack, oh, man. man. Fuck it. Well, this guy actually, I actually took a lot of pride in that oh. one. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, bitch. Bro, you went to Dubai for seven days and said you wanted to live there. You want the Burj Khalifa tip in your asshole right now? Yeah. No? Why do you think I fucking bought that thing, bro? I don't know. If, is that like... When you get lonely at nighttime. Are they going to come for us for saying that? Okay, first we're going to talk about India. Should we start with like India? Now I can't go back into the country. Yeah, okay. Let's start with India. Um, Guys, if you listen to this, uh, don't go in Air India is basically what I have to say. Air India no, flight. No, 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 no. We got to talk about that. You got to talk about that right off the bat? Yeah, that's the first thing. Where do you, what do you want to talk about? You're talking about Air... How is Air India the first thing? Air India was the last Because we had to fly there? Oh, but you're no, not. No, we have to fly there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, no. Air India, fuck you. Forgot you, it, you forgot. This is why I we forgot did. The, I forgot about the waiting experience because of what happened at the end. Bro, so keep I'm watching the podcast to find out what happened at the end of our India trip. <laughs> what are you, Mr. Beast? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but uh, no, we're going to talk about Dubai close to the end. But first, we're going to talk about India. We went on Air India. And we did that because we wanted to save money, right? Our parents wanted a to save money. A lot of Honestly, like a lot of money. It was a big, was, big chunk of money. It was a big difference. But... There's so, we were I was scared personally because there's so many bad reviews of Air India and right before we went there was a post posted on a on Bramley Road shout out Bramley Road that I think it was Bramley Road that the there's a leakage from an Air India plane I saw that too and yeah, that and that's that. like yo about what is this gonna what is this flight yeah. gonna be you didn't see that no it was like a straight leakage during like the from flight. the from like the roof of the plane there's like oh, water just oh, coming I think down seen that actually, yeah. water is dripping and shit in the middle of the, I imagine it was dripping on someone's head and shit no, <laughs> they're getting business class right away. 
But talking about business class, we'll get there because we do the Air India plane. Our ports aren't working to charge our phones. Like the like USB, you know, the USB ports inside like of the screen. What every every fucking airline has, every long flight has. That yeah. shit didn't work. But it's not like uh, it's not like we had the charger anyways. At least we didn't know we had the charger. Our dad was just had it. You know, sometimes dads just like vibe out on their own and shit. <laughs> like there's three seats and then there's one other seat. If you're, if you're a four-person family, the dad sits by himself. That'd be me as a dad, bro. I'd just be vibing on my own. I want to give a shit about my kids. So like you want to hear the conversation where like, we don't have a charger. We don't have a charger for the flight because I have to actually look. He saved my battery. But we're getting off track. Boom. We do the flight. Blah, blah, blah. The flight was not my bad. Fucking, my fucking tray was like falling down. The too. tray like, was broken. Fall- the Air India has to upgrade their flights. Basically, it's not the best, but it's cheaper. Okay. Um, it's a 15-hour flight. It's pretty expensive to go to India. How many uh, uh, different airlines have you guys been on? If you guys We've been on Lufthansa, mm, Air India, Air question. Canada. Lufthansa. Uh, this is just to Air, in, to Air India. Lufthansa, Air India, Air Canada, uh, United. God damn. How many Alaska. What the fuck? Maybe American probably too. Wait, American how many Airlines. We've been to India six times. No, no, he said how many airlines you've been on. But then you said I thought you said like, I thought you were saying I said I'll India. start with India. Like six, oh, six airlines maybe. Flair seven. Yeah, Where Flair is classic. Soup, how would you rank it? How would you rank it? Eight from your experiences. Ranking? Okay. <laughs> oh wait, that's actually a good question. Airline rankings? Fuck, that's tough, man. Fuck, I don't know. I can't even it's because it's because it's because they're all such different flights. Like one could be yeah. like hour flight, one could yeah, be like two hour. Shout out Flair though. I fuck with yeah. the little small three. Hour I fuck flight. with honestly for American Airlines though. I fuck with Alaska. I think they're better than United and American Airlines, and that's for all my Americans out there. Even though Alaska fucking Airlines had a fucking door fucking open in the middle of the air. Oh. Okay, but back okay, to but the point. We're getting off track. <laughs> back, we're getting off track. Oh, wait, that was that. Okay, that was Alaska. Fuck. Back to the I point. Back to the point. With Alaska, by the way. I don't know if you know, but my mom got. We have Emil here as like an audience, you know. He doesn't know the, some of these stories, and uh, same as you guys, man. I mean, he's the coolest. We got so. one of you guys here, you fucking peasants, that be on fucking <laughs> yo, yo. watching. But yo, our mom got sick towards the end, right? She had to. She started throwing up. I'm like, she's like sitting oh. between me and my brother. She started. Is he off to get sick? Like on planes or shit? She, she, no, not on planes, oh, but on in pause. general. Is the mic fine? Yeah, it's fine. Man. Like the position of it. Yeah, yeah, man. I could just keep an it's eye on levels because I'm not there. I can't see it. Good? I'll turn. Yeah, if you have turn him up. Turn him up. Sorry. I'm All a right, cool guy see today. Our mom started getting sick. And then n- everything else was fine. The food was chills, you know, India food and shit. But more, bro, the funniest part about this play is the mom said such a dis- bad review. The mom. I said, okay, I didn't you say that. You said the mom. You did, yeah. <laughs> the the audience the telling the you. The mother, do. my fake mother, my robot the mom. mom? <laughs> the, the mom. <laughs> Arpin, why is Arpin laughing at the fact? This guy's in the back, not the phone. He's sick. If you know, if you know Arpin, you know him. Uh, this will do. But yeah, uh, my mom, not the mom, started to uh, wrote such a bad review. Our mom, all right? <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, bro, really one of the, I can't have the whole review because it was more like a survey and she wrote a review, but she wrote such a bad review that we ended up getting business class the next flight. Just straight oh, leg room for days. And that was only to Dubai though. It was only like a three, four hour flight. But and still. bro, she told us this like on the way back. No, on the, I think it was like on, on the, the way, way to Dubai. Dubai. On the way to Dubai, she told us this, that she left such a bad review and we're wondering why we got business class. And she's like, one of the things she says she said in the review was, "I wish I could jump off this plane in this fifteen-hour <laughs> flight. It would be I'd be better off jumping off this plane." You know <laughs> bro, Air India was so ass. They got people saying they'd rather kill themselves than be on the fucking plane. Bro, bro. I swear it wasn't that bad. You let him jump off the plane. No, but that's like, no, that's that's good. But at least you guys got like business. We're gonna give Air India a very bad reputation because we got another story at the end, like another one, which is even worse actually. So that thanks, was the worst experience. That was that was bad. But thanks for Air India for you know, getting us that business class. Honestly, but. one thing I'll say is your guys fudge dessert, Air India's fudge dessert. Whatever the fuck that cake was, yeah. fucking bomb, bro. That shit was kills, yeah. That shit was kills. Whatever Sometimes that was, desserts what was always kills. Like what was it? It was like a moose cake. It was like a cake, you know? Cakes yeah, can't really yeah. go bad on planes. Yeah. It's like a cake, you know? Yeah, yeah that's like, the, you know? But like the meat on the other end can be fishy. Like they give you some fishy meat, you know? And then yeah. they give you the dessert at the end to be like, all right, the meal yeah. was good, guys. <laughs> you finish it off with a banger. <laughs> Just but, like what I did to you last night. But Dude, that feeling, talking about like, well, are we at Diddly now? Should we talk about Diddly? Oh, Getting, we're, landing Diddly? We were talking about whatever? I have one more thing about the plane. Yeah, we can okay. talk about whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah but you go first, that's why. When we're on the way back on the airline, it's just already talking about planes. Fucking... Um, we're sitting there after finally after the struggles we went through to get back home we'll talk about that the struggles we went through to get back home finally we land and there's everyone's getting the bags and stuff you know i'm still sitting down (laughs) fucking this girl like she's like whatever like around my age or something or like early 20s she opens the 
the luggage thing to like get her bag. She opens it, a fucking oh. heavy ass backpack, decks me in the face right here. I'm sitting at the train. I'm laughing so hard. Yeah. Where she opens it, fucking flies out, decks me in the big face. Big ass backpack, yeah, yo, like a hiking backpack. A hiking backpack. I damn, you're gonna get knocked out. Yo, that shit Bro, I just looked at her like this, <laughs> and then she's like, <laughs> <laughs> Bro, she did say sorry for like a nice five seconds. And she's like, oh, sorry, sorry. I'm like, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, people bro. people on like the India flights are the biggest characters ever. Man. Bro, I Should actually go. got decked. But yeah, that was like a quick thing I wanted to say. India, yeah. India got some characters. Like Air, not Air India. It's a flight to India. It's all those characters. Mm-hmm. But what I want to say is for my brothers and sisters, my brothers and sisters that are Canadian born, American born, Australian born. The unpaid workers. All those, but you're Punjabi. You know, you first landed, you landed in the airport, you see those little fucking hands. Yeah, like, oh, this is kind of nice. You see those fucking hands that are raised up. You're like, oh wow, this is kind of nice. You haven't been pretty clean. Either. I saw this just now. Yeah, yeah bro, I've never bro. been there. Yeah. If you, if, especially there. if you've been there as a kid, it's so like I'm nostalgic. Gonna to, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna try describing this as 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 best as I could for people that haven't been there. Yeah, if you've been there multiple times, you know. But you know, the hands are there. Everything's peaceful. You're like, oh wow, this place is really clean. It's a nice airport, not a bad airport. You fucking walk outside and you hop in the car. You drive for two. Maybe around that area is clean. You drive for two minutes. Yeah. Fucking oh whole world God. population <laughs> is on the fucking street all driving the people, all the at people, the same time, bro. All the people you've seen in your life all c- accumulated in one area <laughs> right there on the street. It's like, you know, you know that feeling, you know, you get off a 16-hour flight, you're in Delhi, you're like, fuck, finally made to the destination. Then you go outside and you see that's your destination. You're basically what we're trying to say <laughs> I'm is, I'm trying bro. to show India. I love India, but I just like, no, it that just, feeling is just different. It's just so, it's a different feeling, a very unique feeling. It's so packed there. If you've never been, especially, then it'll be like a shocker to you because, bro, out here, it's so... If you go to India at least once and you don't even drive because we didn't drive in India. It's too hectic. I'll get an accident yeah. in two seconds. I wanted to try it, but I'm like a couple weeks. I'm like, yeah, there ain't no more fucking way. Yeah, fuck that. I, you, you look, you just want to do it for your ego, but they're yeah. like, yo. No I didn't want to do it for my ego. <laughs> one, no one's going to let you drive because you're from fucking border Canada. You don't know how to I drive. I did drive there actually at night Two, you don't even know how to drive manual though. Was it, it was a automatic? Mm-mm. The other one was automatic. Yeah, I, I told I I wanted to learn manual too. I want to do both. I want to learn manual and I want to drive in India because I'm like, yo, what I kept telling myself, I'm like, yo. If you can drive in India, bro, you can drive anywhere else in the fucking world yeah, and you're a NASCAR driver. That's what I'm so doing. I told myself, if I can drive in India, I'm a yeah, fucking elite yeah, driver, yeah. but I didn't do it. Why are you so. yelling? You're piercing my ears. Elite driver in India. You can drive in India, elite. My fucking mother of that J Hind. It's because I'm driving J Hind. We can join the army there. For, it's because I'm selling, yo. Nah, but uh, yeah, we fucking got there. It was a good, you know, we drove. I. I think I passed off from majority of the drive. Yo, that that drive from Delhi to fucking Punjab is, yeah, takes a toll on you. From our and brothers and sisters born and in Canada, why don't Australia, they have an America. airport that's closer to Punjab? Why do they? Hmm? Do they have an airport closer to Punjab for international flights? I'm gonna start as an international airport. Like that's not that. How much closer is it? It depends where your flight's coming from, bro. Like when you're coming from a place like Canada. Mm. I guess they wanted a bigger airport or something. Like I don't know. I don't know what their system is. Yeah. But you can take a flight from Delhi to. I'm a sir. So many people did that. Or we went to Shitty Nagar, which we'll be talking about later as well, guys. Kashmir. <laughs> yeah, yeah, stop. <laughs> stop <laughs> Mr. V's talk. Yeah. No, but wait, 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 one more thing I just remembered. Whoa, I wait, wait, wait. Bro, just I subscribe though, real quick. Subscribe. Subs- oh my subscribe. God. I was supposed to say that in the beginning. Fuck, fuck. Subscribe, follow everything, and like, like the video right now, subscribe. and comment, comment DC for all. Hey! Like, comment, subscribe. Oh, the main my podcast this now. Is, this guy owns the <laughs> fucking pod, bro. We sold him the Jokes. rights. <laughs> no, but I was going to say, I didn't stand up for the whole Air India flight, by the way. Because yeah, you were sleeping during half of it. For the 15 hours, I was sitting down, bro. You were sleeping during half of it, that's no, why. No, but then also... No, hey, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Pause. You were sitting for 15 hours. You were sleeping for eight of those hours. Yeah, because I did an all-nighter because I had to grind oh, and get no, sleep off, like. editing so, done for you guys. So you slept for eight hours. You technically sat for seven hours. That's just like a flight bro. from here to like London. Okay, bro. I don't... You know who really okay, didn't sti- stand up the wait, whole time? but still, I did, but I still sat for 15 how do you hours. Sleep, how do you sleep over like that? But also, I, ha- I, don't, I don't know, because I did an all-nighter. And when you do all-nighter yeah, and you're yeah, actually yeah. sleep-deprived, then like you can sleep wherever. This guy's like, you pass on like, all the flights. Who, me? Yeah. No, not even no, all I the didn't flights. Pa- I didn't not even all the flights. Long no. Car rides no, no. through everything. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Like, yeah, car, car rides everywhere. Every time he's going to get the chance to sleep, he slept. And let it once. So you're telling me you guys can't sleep in cars? No one said that. 
No, I could, but like, but just you do it uncomfortable. Like in a plane, I, just, I can't. No, but how do you do when people like, are like talking bro, around you? Like, don't you listen bro, to the conversation? It's like ASMR. It's like, <laughs> like ASMR. ASMR. <laughs> this because it's old fucking rule. Just no, pass okay, it but, that, okay, but also when you're younger, bro, it's like people don't even have anything to say to you. That's regarding things you have to solve. So I'm just like passing out. out there, you know that's what you know. Just living life, bro. You just pass out of the whip, bro. bro don't worry. I try to get myself <laughs> taking me wherever you guys want, bro. It doesn't matter. I try to get myself involved, but yeah, that's the only younger, only the youngest sibling would uh, relate to me on that. But uh, we're not gonna t- take you guys every single day. We're not gonna talk about every hour of the trip. Why? We're, we're, we're not here for. We're not sitting here for thirty days, seconds. brother. <laughs> <laughs> we're not sitting here for thirty days. We should just talk about the highlights. Do you got a highlight? I got one. If you wanna, you could talk though. I've been talking. Uh, do I got a highlight? I wanna hear your mouth move. Is that weird? Oh, yes. bro. The alcohol consumption in India, bro. The <laughs> alcohol consumption. Consu- is <laughs> consumption. Hold on, let me say it right. Consumption. The alcohol consumption in India is just fucking next level, bro. Are you talking about yourself or uh, what are you talking about there? Why are you trying to play it on me? You we have were a beard, the same brother. boat, buddy. <laughs> Wait, what? We're no? the same fucking boat. Bro, I'm a clean shaven man. I, I don't, don't even know what the legal <laughs> fucking age is in <laughs> India. <laughs> you clean. might not even be technically legally allowed to drink there, but there is no legal age. Yeah, there is no fucking legal age. Oh, technically there is, but you know. No, nah, man. Isn't. Now I see where all these dicies get these alcohol alcohol problems from. You guys went for a wedding, right? You guys went for a wedding. All people, not even that, bro, but all people do there is just drink. Like, you just sit on the side of the street. Every night. Just get some street food. Just have a peg with your boys. Your wife's at home waiting. But just, but just on the other. Wait, what? But you're just trying to rock (laughs) a peg with the boys. (laughs) (laughs) No, but like people, uh, like, that's just the vibe bang, there. Just, it just like like drinking and eating street. Yeah, obviously, I'm not saying everybody drinks. Obviously not. The people that oh, do that's it, totally not what you're saying. Like street vi- street food and drinking, not from personal experiences. Wait, I don't think I've, I don't think I've met one person from India who doesn't drink besides a woman. Like, that means you're not in touch with the uh, actual religious people, bro. Are you in touch with them? You lived nope. in India, bro? I never Whoa, buddy! What about, <laughs> what about, what about, uh... Bro, bro, you know what I mean? I'm not talking about, like... What about GS? GS there is a kid go. like me, man. But he's born in India. So, yeah, we did meet our long lost friend, but we'll get there. We're not there yet. But, yeah. Oh, yeah, he is born. But he was a kid, bro. He moved here when he was a grade four. What is your point, bro? He's an adult Yeah, age, but he's grade bro. four. He's going to be drinking. <laughs> I'm talking about adults, bro. I'm talking about actual adult adults. Well, adults got adult problems, which means they have and adult bro, he, drinks. He grew up here, basically, bro. He was born there for four years, basically. Or no, not four GS, years. if you're watching this, fuck you. Okay. <laughs> that was uncalled for. Um, but yo, I want to just get straight to the point. We went to India for brown weddings. So we already weddings? talked about brown, brown, a brown wedding. Our cousin, first cousin, it was, it was an important wedding. That's where this guy called and, uh, Yeah, just like you're talking about, brown weddings are so long. And the part, bro, going on the dance floor every single day, for seven days straight, I got so sick of it. Bro. Nah, bro. I got sick of it. You didn't get sick of it? No. Would you get sick of that? No, I wouldn't. The moment Actually, we were drinking, if it's like a wedding eat? and like, like let's say like Mexico, cool Avia, we're not going no, to Mexico. No, yeah. <laughs> no, like if it's like a close cousin, it's a wedding, bro. No, yeah, but like dance not. floor like, specifically, yeah, just bro, get lit every. Yeah, bro, you, you, you not you getting a real lit. one, bro. No, but yeah, getting lit did definitely help because all that's what I'm saying. Like for the amount of alcohol we had, you still didn't feel that way. No, no, I had fun. <laughs> but like after the fourth Still time, after way, the huh? fourth time being on the dance floor, because don't get it twisted, we had the dance floors at our houses too. Those additional fucking new GTA fucking houses unlocked dance floors. Yeah, yeah. Like you add it like a Sims character, like it's a Sims. Sims Only game, like seven add. guys dancing. Let's get called the DJ one hour before we're getting home. Yeah, I need you here. But at yeah, eleven p.m. <laughs> like it was just, it's crazy. Yo. You can just get anyone at any and time. And food. And food. And they fucking spawned in food one hour before. Yeah, they just spawned in shit there. But yeah, I got, I got sick of the dancing after like four days. But nah, we still I, I wanted to go more after that, bro. Insert Lavraj dancing right here, just because I want to embarrass you. Insert UV dancing with my. No, <laughs> I'm editing this. <laughs> Actually, I edited this. I could not even put myself in only for you. <laughs> no, no, but then I'm, I'm doing the final expert. So boom, Lavraj only. <laughs> <laughs> just it just keeps going back and forth. <laughs> That'd be funny as fuck. But uh, hell, yeah. if we actually did it, if we did it, don't watch our podcast ever again. Yeah, that's surprising though. But the, also with the wedding, you get the W eats. Amazing. Oh, meats. bro. What was your ah. top top food? Top, what? What? No, no. Like, the food's good, <laughs> but some food is I'm not, not the best. I'm exaggerating. I'm kind of shocked what you just did there. No, most of the food is amazing. Some food is just... Actually, what am I talking about? Exactly. What am I talking Now that I thought, I just thought about mutton right now, you know? Mutton. Yeah. The, the mutton obviously. bites, they bring it. Oh, first, okay. Before we get to the food, bro. Brown weddings in India, obviously, whole another level. But the service, bro? Oh, these waiters go are up your ass and they will make sure anything is done, bro. If, they, if you gave them five hundred dollars or five hundred rupees, they will kill a guy for you if they had to. 
they will get rid of somebody if they really had to. They follow you around like fucking ants follow each other to fucking build infra- yeah, bro, infrastructure like, in their dirt. Bro. Like, let's say you give them like a little tip, right? Like a hundred rupees, just like are you uh, like you know what? Yeah. Well, that's be up your, it's like you pretty much just bought the guy. Like he's your slave now. <laughs> like you okay. pretty much just bought him. Like he'll follow you around without you even having to tell him anything. He'll follow you around and do whatever you want, expecting more money, and you will give the money because you'll be like, holy shit. This guy's up my ass doing everything. That's like that one the one time. Wait, where <laughs> were we? Were we in uh, Sri Nagar and then dad, dad what? Wait, where, where was that? What? The guy who, the guy was following dad everywhere. That was at the wedding. That's what I was thinking about too. That was at the wedding. That Bro, was like, uh, oh yeah, I remember, I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, this guy was constantly just following dad. You need anything, he'll, he'll, he'll get you it. No, but if, if they know that you're drunk a little bit or you're going to get more drunk, they're going to take advantage of you. And they're going to be more up your ass, so you give them more money because you're yeah. drunk. You're in a vulnerable state. Uncles are good licks, yo. You hit a lick on an uncle. I'm going to become a server in India. Yo, I'm going to hit a lick. And like, and like on the on the DJ floor, on the DJ, when you throw like uh, $1 bills or whatever, they have the DJs bring specifically like two different kids with them to just come <laughs> run, run in, sweep up all the fucking money, bro. Yeah. Specifically, I've seen, I noticed that every DJ had two kids with them. Just two grooming, small kids. grooming up the fucking money. And all up. they did was they just stood there, maybe, maybe set up a couple wires, they just stood there, and when somebody threw money, bang. The money didn't even touch the ground yet. No American. Money didn't even, they didn't even give a chance for the money to touch the ground yet. They just came in. Bro, they need to, bro, they need to fly those kids from India straight to the NBA games to clean the floors because, bro, they, they'll <laughs> destroy those fucking water boys right now that we yeah, got. those fucks, honestly. They'll destroy them, but, uh, what well, else? Like the, those, uh, those girls and uh, boys that grab the tennis balls. Oh, yeah, yo. Fucking they'll destroy them, bro. They'll start making them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they'll start making them uh, while, like, we're running our tennis balls, start making them handmade. Yeah, that's fucking it. <laughs> no, nah, but uh, I was going to say, um, oh yeah, so for me, my most favorite food that I had during the whole thing, we had a lot of street food as well. Um, shout out Alu Colche, shout out, you know, if you're watching Alu Colche, shout out you. Why you, why you waving, Arpit, I'm not talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> Arpit's behind the camera, I'm like pointing, he thinks I was pointing to him. Um, shout out all the Alu Colche out there, shout out all the pears. Um, I, it's still got to be chicken, just classic Tadori chicken, you know, you just have little bites while you have like a, like, like a peg, you know that's what I'm saying? Favorite? Like a peg. Yeah, that's my favorite. What about you, yo? Like, when it comes to Indian food, what's your favorite? Even though you weren't at the wedding. <laughs> we didn't have enough funds uh, to fly our main host, yeah. yo. <laughs> yeah. Please like and subscribe for that. We um, have enough funds. We actually wasted all our money in India, so uh, we had to sell the podcast for, brown food. for 10 bucks. We actually bought a chicken, honestly. Kinda that's like the every that's kind of like that's kind of <laughs> like cliche but like butter chicken is good that's what every non fucking <laughs> indian person <laughs> says yo butter chicken yo. it's cliche but it's fucking good bro if you're 100 percent indian and you grew up in the culture and you say butter chicken we're gonna have to cut your head off like they do you're the Dubai. type of guy to say that you're a coconut do you agree yeah there you go i don't know what fucking to say <laughs> i have no comeback yo the owner the owner of this podcast degrees yeah, bro. You have no I comeback because it's the truth. We actually flew him There's in from... There's no a, comeback. Yeah. We flew him in from... Uh, actually, we, we grabbed him and stole him from Dubai. He was actually at the Burj Khalifa, 127th floor. And we had to oh, I gotta give you your Dubai shot class. You know, reminded me. I have it. I've been had it. <laughs> Fuck up. Sit back. <laughs> 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 um, let's see what else. What else? What else? Um, yeah. can, I, can I talk about... I think uh, yeah. I want, one thing I want to talk about is Golden Temple, bro. Oh, no. That, you're skipping ahead. Hold up. Oh, you, oh okay. okay. I, have, I just... I saw one thing. Shit, so, I'm here, bro. Yeah. You're bad, for sure. Um, so the person who got, we should give some context on who's getting married because it's our close cousin and he's literally been in uh, my videos. I don't think he's been in your videos. And he was supposed to be on one of the pods. Yeah, we could have linked it back to that Bro, pod. we had a pod recorded with my cousin that in just San got Francisco. Married, but it got like corrupted, corrupted. or some yeah. shit. Yeah, unfortunately. It created, it, all the creators That was know. funny too. It was funny. He had like jean shorts on. It was like, up here. A- like a fucking chick from Miami. Can I say that? Shorts. What? Like you had I mean, you could if you want. Oh, fuck it, man. If you want the backlash. We'll see you later in editing. <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's up to you. But, uh, fuck, can you see? No, you could. People say it. Like, big, okay, let's get on. All right, let's get on this topic, guys. Yeah, now we're going to have to blur that, too, if I decide to blur this the whole thing. Or it all stays yeah. in. He, he came back from India and starts like, <laughs> this shit, yeah. Because that country has so much freedom, bro. Freedom. That's a real country of freedom, not Canada, bro. I mean, yeah, it is. But, but you uh, go. You go for it. We'll talk about that later. Um. What was I saying? So oh, stay yeah. tuned. Keep watching. Our cousin, his name is Bavin. If you have watched one of my videos or two Jamaica video, uh, he's in there. But uh, you always have that one cousin that has extra chromosome, and that's him. And he got married, so that's an absolute shocker. And I just want to just to put some highlight on one of the best. That is a shocker. Fo- one of the like memeiest moments of a whole trip was the <laughs> dancing video of our cousin, bro. <laughs> bro, he was he hit the most 
insane Pangra routine bro. at 1 a.m. January 1st, 2024. Yeah. To end off, to cap the night off, yeah, I gotta pop that video. Bro, we were we were like just sitting around doing barbecue, like you mm-hmm. know, having a couple drinks, and everybody's pretty, you know, at a good level. New Year, yeah, New Year's Eve. Yeah. So we're just chilling in the bedroom at this point. Like we had mattresses on the ground, and then we're just all chilling, just talking, laughing, just cracking jokes. I don't know where this guy grabs like the kundi, like the pangara kundi, <laughs> puts it, just starts fucking dancing, and we're just dying because it's so uncalled for. But we're dying. It's one like, of the funniest things ever. It's like one of those nights, you know, say yeah, whoever's yeah, yeah, listening, yeah, yeah. and you know, you obviously know and. Who, and the motherfucker be on the camera, the ghost, the not seen Go- ghost. Uh, everyone knows, like when you have those nights with the boys, it's always bro, just jokes. Especially to start off a new year, bro. Like, that, was a great, that was the best moment of 2024 Yo. on the first day of 2024. Yo, that's actually insane. I didn't think about that. It was like in the AMs of 2024 morning. Yeah. Yeah, we but, were, to be t- honest with you, I tell you, you got a good level. We were all fucking hammered. <laughs> yeah, we were, <laughs> we were hammered. Bro, and yo, yo, like, I would just get vulnerable, like, just be personal because, oh, bro, no, I don't, no, 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 no. We don't, I didn't ever drink in front of my, like my parents haven't seen me drink like that. Cause you're young. Cause I don't drink. I don't drink at all. That was my first time drinking. Right. And our parents don't see us drink. And just, we just drink like every day in front of our parents. Well, Yo, shout out mom, dad, bro. They see me drink. They haven't seen us drink like that though. Dad led me to become. Dad got us a beer. Alcoholic. <laughs> yeah, but that's what I call like. Shout out dad, man. You made me alcoholic. That. No, I'm joking. The other dad, thing man. about the wedding though, bro, there's so many events, bro. Oh my god, that's yeah, a long like a week with how many events? It's always exactly? like that week. No, okay, off the bat though, Punjabi weddings in India are way better than Punjabi weddings in Canada, bro. Without a doubt, there's no competition. The service, everything, the venues are huge. That's the a good cost take. is cheaper. Good take. That's, a, that's not a good take. That is the only take, bro. That is the if only. anybody tells me that in any sh- way, logically, the Canada Punjabi weddings are better than India Punjabi weddings. You're delusional and you need to go to a doctor. Honestly, spiritually, personally, it doesn't matter. India weddings are always better in India. There's literally, I mean, even Punjabi spiritually, bro. Literally in every single way. Literally <laughs> yeah, even spiritually, too. I said that as jokes. That is actually true. <laughs> but uh, I literally wrote down all the events. We had a friend party, one. Yeah, I see him in a row. Engagement, two. Mm. Lady Singhi, three. <laughs> no, no, that's too long. Wedding, <laughs> wedding four. <laughs> Well, why, why am I using it? Reception on the day of the wedding after the Godwara five. Daddy chill. <laughs> and then a reception the day after the wedding. Bruh. Oh, six. Six. And I, am, I, am I missing any? We had two in one day. Yeah, that was insane to me. That was the uh, engagement and Lady Sangeet. Yo, I just remember something off the bat. One of the best parts as well is of India is you could just get an absolute amazing tailored suit. Awesome mm. design made in like two days from the local Bajar. Bazaar. Is it Bazaar or Bajar? Bajar Taylor. It's amazing. So yeah. I got a nice suit now. So I mean, you didn't get that made from ladies. Like Alicia Billing. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, <I'm not> <laughs> <laughs> but he had to protect himself. That wasn't there. me, bro. You had to make sure, yeah. No, yeah men, <laughs> any man who want to hit me up, man. <laughs> That's why he just becomes. Yo, it makes sense now. That's why you're so gay. That's why everyone in a relationship. Fuck, is God, can I say that or not, bro? I don't know. No, that makes sense because yeah. no, that makes sense. That's not like offensive. 2024 is a crazy year, guys. But uh, <laughs> I was going to say something, and I just totally went off track. Where you talking oh. about suits? You didn't even get your suit made from India, bro. I you did. What are you talking about? Bro, think think very hard and deeply. I tripped out too one time when I was talking to my coworkers. Oh my God. Okay, Korta, same shit. But you no, know, that's facts though. No, but even that suit that we... We got a suit made here pretty much, but it was Bro, made from India. Bro, he is from India, yeah. yeah. So technically I was right. But yeah, we got a Korta made. Oh amazing. yeah, the Korta is fire, man. Should have worn it right now, actually. Wait, Yo, if you wore we... a black Korta, like... Should wear Korta for this party. What do you <laughs> think about that? <laughs> yeah, you missed it. Did you say something about black Korta? I said, Yo, if you were a black Korta, like... I this kid does rock a black Korta. No, I don't... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I already Yo, know. Like, we should rock that clip right there. Just that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, if you were a black kurta, that'd be jokes. <laughs> Wait, was that a pod or some shit? <laughs> I mean, I can't control the fucking sound effects. We're all sitting there. Yeah, but seeing our chacha, uh, seeing our, my chacha and uh, Taiji, they definitely dropped some farts. Really? And dad. No, I didn't hear him drop a single. You probably dropped the nasty ones, but, but you know they drop nasty ones. Yeah, hundred percent they do, bro. But after, uh, after you hit the age fifty, I think your farts just go to a different level of stank. After 50. What's the, what's you, what's you, the big 5 0, you know? <laughs> the Pod the Chase's podcast, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I was saying, I was going to say something off the. Oh, yeah. We should work Korte for this pod. Low key. Oh, yo, that was low key a good idea. Why yeah. don't you think of that? I just thought about that right now because I forgot about those Korte, but yeah, whatever. Yeah, 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 we can yeah, see yeah. it for another day. Damn, that was a good idea. We do a pod with like. With Genjo, too? Yeah. <laughs> we'll do a Sanju, yo. We'll tell I was you. I'm going to say that, too. Sanju, bro, Sanju. I'm just going to wear like his Etchkin with like a thick guy here, right? Etchkin. I'm shiny, but stay out here, bye. Okay, I have a question for you guys. Oh, the host has a question for yes, us. Wow. Yeah. Oh, no, you, yo, so look I'm jamming at level, in. I'm fine. Like, keep an eye on it, bro. Yeah, don't worry. We could always turn up. It's all individual. If you guys have to pick one guest out of all your guests that you've had so far, 
Who is your favorite? <laughs> Bro, what kind of question is that? Or all, you could just gotta pick it. Well, obviously, I'm not picking. My favorite guest is this picker packer. I'm joking. Um, or like, or let me rephrase the question. No, I'm not picking a favorite. Guest. Dennis Yana the Yana. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, what's your? What was your favorite pod? Like, or oh, like that's, that's a hard one. It's well, usually the boys. It's always good, bro. It's usually the okay, learn, but that's yeah. what the guess. But usually the boys' pods are my favorite just because they're so fun to do. I'd say the boys' pods too. I'd say the ones with Parm and Josh specifically. Parm, Josh, and then even the old ones we've all done together. You know what I mean? Those ones are always Arpin, nice. Beyond the Camera, Smirking. These guys, Emil and Goddamn Arpin. Shitskin. It's always uh, the four man with the only boys, always fun. But always the racist funnest. experience in India was surprising to me. Somebody called me a Shitskin. I said, bro, I'm white. I'm joking, no one said that. <laughs> fu- like, you should have like, just been like, you're a fucking darker than me, bud. Or did you believe that? Yeah, for one <laughs> second. Why would somebody in India call you a shit sky? Yeah, no, that's, that's, why I said, that's why I said that. It makes absolutely no sense. But yeah, you want to talk about the Golden Temple? Go ahead. You can go ahead or you can start with Shut it. the fuck up. Okay. Yeah, okay. No uh, swearing for the next five minutes. Actually, no, before Golden Temple, we should talk about someone else. Called a place called Srinagar. Kashmir. Sounds a little close to something else. Yeah, you got to be careful when you pronounce the word. You got to really enunci- enunciate yourself or else you can make a big mistake and lose your career. So Srinagar, can you give a little background? Because I feel like you're better with geographical locations. Srinagar is north of Punjab, 45 minute flight away from Patiala, India. Extra chromosome in podcast. <laughs> okay, no. So we flew out from Amritsar and it was about like a 45 minute flight to Srinagar. Srinagar is in Kashmir. What Kashmir. Are you laughing, bro? Yo, why is this guy laughing? Kashmir is... Half controlled by India, half controlled by Pakistan. So yes. there's the LOC there. <laughs> <laughs> People don't even know what that is. But it's, it's like We're laughing because we watched like a Hindi movie and it was located in, in Kashmir. But so it's like, it's a, it used to be a really heavy military zone. And it's to this day, to this day, <laughs> there's a lot of military presence there. So uh, when our Thayaji, which is our dad's older... If you don't know what Dad's older is. brother... Yeah, our, our uncle, or yeah, our dad's older brother, yeah. And uh, he's in the military there. He's up there. So we went to go visit him. And then we got all the amenities. We got all the army amenities, bro. We were treated like fucking royalty. It was like, what the hell is going on? It was a little too much, actually. Yeah, a little I don't like when you're like, and there's like, like what too do you much, like, what like, do you like, like, it feels like, fake. Yeah, we'll explain, we'll explain. You can keep. Um, yeah, so it's pretty much, it's not like the rest of India. There's big mountains there. It's actually really similar to Canada, but it's different. Yeah, big it was mountains cold there. In, this, cold. In, in the winter, it's cold. In the summer, it's very hot cold. and nice, right? Actually, it was really cold there. Yeah, we got sick there. That was like one of the nastiest sicknesses I've had that lasted me all the way till the end of the trip. But I, don't I know was only sick for two days. Let's thankfully. not talk about sickness. Yeah, you got lucky. You only got sick for two, two days. I'm the last one to get sick, but I was one of the ones who got sick for the longest. But it was kind of like a sickness. I could like be active and shit. But that shit was just stuck in my throat. That mucus, that dirty ew. Oh, bro. Which is there. Lingering. Remember outside the Airport? We were like, oh, shit. He's yo. like, yo, he's like, yo, uh, there's just so much coming out right now. <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking about right now? Okay, mucus. no, okay. We're going back to you talking about, bro. We're getting way. Why are we so disgusting? Bro? Oh, we have to go off track. That's how it works. That's called the okay. Dishes podcast for a reason. When I got off the. When we got out of the plane in Shinagar, I'm like, yo, where the fuck are we, right? You can't really tell, like, right off the bat, like, yeah. with the, you're in a different biome, right? It's like a different. Uh, <laughs> It was like different. The, the type air of was different though. The air, different type of people, and the air was definitely cleaner, way yeah. cleaner, because like mountain area. It's more like Kashmiri people, right? That's what they're called. Kashmiri? Yeah, Kashmiri people. Kashmirians. Which apparently we look like Kashmiri people because of our light skin tone. No, I got I got guy. called Kashmiri like three, four times. Because they look, they look exactly this. Like they have this type of beard. They have light skin. They have this type of hair. Yeah, like, they have like, that type like, of hair too. Um, but yeah, and then we start driving, we get in the car, start driving, and then I start seeing these motherfuckers guns out and shit. I'm like, where the fuck are we, right? Yeah, the army. I'm like, yo, where are we right now? Like, I know my dad told me, like, it's a military zone. I'm like, yo, still, it's like this? Like, motherfuckers just lined up on the left with guns out and shit like that. Did and you explain why it's military zone yet? Because they're fighting over the Yeah, so half half of Kashmir, which is the st- a state where the city is. Okay, too technical. State, half of the state. Is controlled by. Bo- Let me fucking speak. <laughs> Don't get too tactical. The, well, yo, how, how, how was that? How was that? Yo, what was that? What was how that? How's that? How's that? Let me fucking speak, bro. How's it? How's it? Ta- how's, how's it technical? All I said yo, was. Why'd you get so aggressive? All bro? I said is the state. <laughs> fucking fucking you. Yo, you start talking about cities and states, and this guy thinks he's too fucking technical, too bro, because he's a dumbass. Man, it's too technical. How, bro? People are not gonna know Shri Nagar is just a go, city. Go ahead. And Kashmir is a state. Fucking you. Kashmir is a fucking country. You guys think it's always. You guys think it's all fun and games, but behind the scenes, yeah, bro. Shit goes fucking fighting, real, bro. There's a boxing match after every single pod is done. <laughs> we have a rink right there. We actually have BTS. We're opening OnlyFans for all the boxing matches that happen right after each podcast. 52 <laughs> now it's going to be. We're going to open in private gatherings, put some bets on, guys. So let us know. Sign bets, bro. Sign up in the link below. Yeah. Um, yeah, so 
uh, Kashmir is a state, and half the state is pretty much most of it. I think right, a little over fifty percent taken over by India, and the rest of it Pakistan was. So it's always been a dispute of like yo, like Pakistan wants all of Kashmir, India wants all of Kashmir. Now it's kind of been like okay, like they're kind of like more peaceful about it. They're fine with like the 50-50, yeah. but there's still heavy military like, presence yeah. on both sides of the border. Like you never right know what there. could happen when yeah. you got to have the military. Because like even the movie we watched in 2020, they had a bombing. Wait, is it military or is it like, are they, are they, tra- are they so the military? There's like different, yeah, they're called different. So that shit actually happened, the what thing that happened in the movie. Like yeah, the bombing, that was real. The bombing. Yeah, was yeah, that real? Yeah, it yeah. was real. That actually happened. Like literally, like that recently, like 2019. Like, happened like 2019. So you're telling me Patty is real? <laughs> Patty? Are <laughs> 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 Patty, bhai? Bro, we can't talk about it because no one's going to understand what it's Pat, so funny. Basically, though. Patty was the main character of the movie that we're talking about. But, uh, and he's like, it's like a meme name. Yeah, like why, is a Hindi guy, why is a Hindi guy called Patty? <laughs> After a couple of days, you got used to it. You're like, oh, okay. Uh, there's guns here, military here, army. Yeah. Like, it's just normal. Like, and I, I assume, like, the, the people that live there, it's completely normal yeah. to them, too. But we also like, when like, you first get there, you're like, why the fuck are there so many armed men here? Like, yeah. where are we? So our, our uncle is part of, like, BSF as border security forces, blah, blah, blah. So we got a lot of service because there's, like, the people who work there as, like, cooks and, like, serve the people who, like, serve, you know, like, the, the people, the more higher ups, right? So yeah. we got all that service. Like we wanted something. They'd be like, "Oh, can you bring us this, please?" And they brought it. It was insane. They made us di- breakfast in the morning, dinner at night. You're saying please, but the way they come out and order is just like, "Yeah, like yeah, like yeah, Lakshmi, yeah, Lakshmi, Lakshmi, yeah, like that." Rudy, Rudy, oh, roasted mother. nuts, we do like yeah, but roasted nuts, hot water. Yeah, like that's what <laughs> dad they said. loved that shit. Dad, dad loved, loved it. it. Our dad loved having that power. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, it's like you know, nice. Kusa pani, boy, kusa pani. Because especially when you're born in India, you have so much like service, and then you come here, oh, yeah, it's like, yeah, shit, you gotta do everything yourself. You get used to it, and you go back. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Completely different there. What was your favorite part about Shree Nagar? I have such a. I liked going on top of that mountain. Which one? Very tall with the snow and shit. The D's Nuts Mountain? <laughs> Goldmark, I think. I think oh, it was. Wait, which one? Or oh, yeah. Goldmark. That, was, that was insane, bro. That's you guys went on a mountain? I don't even know. Bro. bro. Actually, bro. Like the, it was you unreal, bro. You know, like, bro. You know the, are you? Oh, bro. yo. Wait, never mind. Remember? I posted yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. If, for people that drink beer out there, if you guys know what Kokani beer is, those mountains they have, Kokani? that was the first thing I thought of when I went there. I'm like, yo, this looks like the mountains oh, on the Kokani beer. I know oh. what you're talking about. <laughs> That was literally <laughs> my first thought when I when we got up that gondola. That's not how you pronounce the beer name, right? Kokani. Is that? That sounds like the most Indian way to pronounce it. Kokani. Right? Or am yeah, I doing I don't it? know. There's, there's no, no way white people. Kokani, right? Kukani? There's no way Kukani. white people Kukani. are saying Kokani. Kokani. Maybe that Kokani. Maybe I'm saying a little Desi accent on it. We're talking about India. So. Yeah, Kokani. <laughs> that's the most Desi accent ever. Kokani, uh, Pini, Yeah, that's that's top three highlights for sure because that was so nice and beautiful. Uh, it's kind of like Canada, but like. We'll pop up. What would you if you were to compare to Whistler? Like. Bigger? Smaller? Oh, it's very similar. similar. I want to plug myself too on my channel, UV Straw, why I uploaded my first part for the India video. Go check it out. I don't know. Honestly, the elevation of that was like 4,000 feet. So why I don't did know you do that so quickly in the middle? <laughs> and also, guys, if you want to make sure you know what we're talking about, you know, sometimes you click off the podcast and you click back off. Just subscribe to make sure that it'll stay on your feed so you keep watching. Yo, okay. <laughs> Fuck, man. Fuck, we did this too much. Too much happened. But yeah, uh, that was my favorite. Okay, well, yeah, those, I'll that. pop a photo here, but... Like the the scenery is crazy because you can you. see the other mountains and you're on the same level as other mountains. That was like a Windows desktop on a different level, cracked windows. Well, this was a little different because you're on top of the mountain. Yeah, you can't really yeah. see anything else that's around. Yeah, that was yeah. like you're on top of the mountain, but you, you can, you're you literally in line yeah. with all the other mountains. Yeah, because there's like mountains right beside it. Like and that's what it literally felt like you're in the sky. That was crazy. It's like yeah. tu- like a really big tourist attraction, right? People go there. Oh so. yeah, and yeah. is huge. And recently, and it's been safer, so a lot of people going. Yeah, there, really. and people ski and snowboard there. But I think it was like closed for now. Yo, yeah, Arpa, can you check the camera? No, not on that one, bro. Is it recording? Is it chilling? Okay, just yeah, we gotta double check. But yeah, do you have any other favorite spot? Like, let's do one more each. Favorite spot? Fuck, what, do, what the fuck do you even do there, right? What do you mean? We, the army mess was so comfy, bro. Uh, we had dominoes. Yeah, by the way, we stayed, wherever we stayed in Shirinagar, we stayed on like army campsites and shit. Yeah, like we stayed. It's Pretty cool a, experience. It's called the mess. I don't know if it stands for something or it's just called a mess. It's called a mess there. I don't know what that means here. I don't even know what that means there. But it's called an army mess. But it's basically like, like it's like a, it's like uh, a condo it's band. Like, it's like, you know, the military thing in GTA 5? A military base? Like a military base. Okay, it's not a military base. <laughs> yeah, it's like that. Are you insane, bro? It's like that. Military base with a bunch of helicopters, fucking fighter okay, that's jets. A, that's a fucking... Okay, yeah, but is, they're not the Air Force. Bro, you Why would they have Air fighter Force jets? Military. Bro, that is... Base. A mess it's is like not that, a military base, Mess? Bro. You know what a mess... You don't even know what mess is. You know what I mess mean, is? Bro, 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 you don't even know what mess is. Listen, I don't. That's why I asked. Mess is just that building where you stay in. That's a whole fucking compound, bro. Yeah, I know. It's an army campsite. But there was an army campsite when we went in Chandigarh. It was just that building. 
Like, like, but why are you okay? Are you you're, okay, 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 uh, okay. You're Bro, right. Did you so know why you explaining you? like we're in a military base? Because that's what it is. Alright, man, put the gloves on. Come on. It is right a now. military <laughs> base. It might not be big, like okay, huge, but, you... but it's still big. It is a military base. Okay, well, you should explain first. Not an air force. Are, fucking... When I hear military base, I'm imagining down. We still in a fucking mil- like some next level. Okay, there's shit. no fighter jets. There's one air force with a bunch of rooms, bro. What service? That's not all it is. Yeah, the, and then you have to drive to the other places. Yeah, yeah we were, but we, that's we what I'm saying. We it. stayed on like an army base. Yeah, yeah, we stayed in like base a base. Camp. Yeah, base, camp. base camp. Yeah, that sounds more real. Yeah, what, did I say? what did I say before? It's a military base. Yeah, it's the same thing. <laughs> Bro, does it military base? Like base camp? I'm <laughs> saying <laughs> military is another word for the army. And I'm saying base, <laughs> military base. <laughs> main host, main host. Army yeah. base. Does military base sound more extreme to you than... Base main host, listen, main host. Okay, military <laughs> base, army base. I'm just using two different words, and they're not even military. Okay, they're BSF. Uh, I, they're army. They're part I get of what the military. You're BSF like, and I get part what you're of the military. It sounds more serious. Even what you're talking about, like it sounds more serious. I don't think but more. like, I get, I got, yeah, I, get I get what, what he's saying, saying too. Yeah. I'm just saying it sounded you more serious. You motherfucker. I was like, no, military. What were you talking about? I don't think it's a military base. Still, we're gonna ask Dad after. Is it army base? No, I didn't say it was an army base either. I just know what's a base. But I said army base camp. No, you said military base. Military and army are the same fucking thing. And I don't remember you saying army. I just going off the military base. That's all I'm going off. You said military base. Episode well, 52 is the f- episode you guys found out that UV's fucking stupid. Right, comment down below. Bro, you guys think military right. base, man. This was like a fucking building. And then, yeah, there's other like departments. Like, bro, you were sleeping the whole time in the car. You wouldn't even know, bro. Yeah, bro, I was sleeping the whole time. <laughs> we were alive in three days. I, was, I slept whole through 72 hours, guys. I slept 72 hours. I just spawned in there and just went back to India. I mean, uh, went back to Punjab. But, uh... <clears throat> Roasted nets were wonderful. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're just going from roasted nets. Great, very warm. <laughs> roasted, nuts. Yeah, roasted nets over there. Yeah, like it. warm water. They warm, warm everything. We only cold. drank warm water because one, we're sick as hell, and then two, is fucking cold as fuck there. Um, wasn't prepared for that. Going from Punjab to cold as fuck. Punjab got pretty cold too, though. Bro, I'm tripping. There has to be something else, man. We're like, tri- what else was good in Sri <laughs> The service was top, top class. We just got like amazing food every mm, day. And the day fucking night. horse riding, man. Oh yeah, I haven't, that's the first, first thing, thing we did. Why am I not looking at my notes, bro? Look, right here, I have a whole paragraph, bro. Okay, yeah, riding. We're riding horses like it was RDR two in Red Beta, Dead, Beta, Beta Dead. Valley. Pop up, pop up the videos. It took a couple hours to get there, but uh, it was worth it because, bro, these guys took us to like some cliff edges. It was like, we're, if you fell over, it's it's over. The horse is dead, and me. <laughs> it was gonna be like it was insane, but yeah. uh. Yeah, they no, got, got risky with it. That place is Beta Valley, Kashmir. Beautiful place. Is that what it's called? Beta Valley. Else. It's not Beta Valley. I'm That's what they <laughs> have in like they have that place in like uh, Hindi uh, Bollywood movies and shit like yeah. that. Apparently, a lot of Kashmir is in Bollywood movies, but that place was really nice. And you know, wait, wait, wait. we went there where there's no grass and shit. There it was kind of dry. Have you seen it? The grass, bro? yeah, it's bro, super like, green. It looks insane, super bro. In the green. summer, it looks super, crazy in the summer. Super green, bro. But yeah, I want to talk about the first time we got there. This guy's freezing like a little bitch. I had to cuddle you to sleep, didn't I? Yeah, the first day. <laughs> Yo, the pop up the video. I'm gonna snap just clouding this guy a little bit. Not really, but yeah. The first day we got there, we were staying in like this one. We we're in this one room, and it's so cold in that room. We chilled there for like three hours, like our whole family. Then I go back, and I'm like, all right, bro, I'm definitely fucking sick. And it's probably just for sitting there for three hours. So this guy was like sick the first day, first night. And first night we he got was there. freezing under the covers. And the main thing, guys, we've completely how do we not touch on this main fucking huge disadvantage of Srinagar base camp, military base? Bro, they don't have a heating system in India in general. Oh, yeah. But it's cold there. So they just use heaters. Bro, the power goes out like three times a day. (laughs) So it was freezing in our room with all the service we had. This was the worst part. It was freezing in our rooms at nighttime. Yeah, the the it's so cold there that the bed has a heater, all the beds, right? So even the bed heating doesn't solve the whole problem. This guy was freezing the first night. I was like, whatever. You sleep with your I'm sleeping with big jackets on. Did you a whole fucking this guy's whatever big jacket too? No, I gotta sleep with my kind of because I take that shit off. Yeah. Okay, but like right. just like layers. Oh, Canada Goose, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just fucking around. No, but uh, sweats, you know, layers. We're basically wearing layers and shit. And uh, that was like the main struggle. That made me seem like an asshole. That's not how I was trying to say it at all. <laughs> I, just, I just, just, you know, fucking around. I didn't even realize that. But yeah, I was like, you never know what you got. Like, because you you could be born in like Canada or whatever, like a North American country or like whatever, a country that, you know, you have good amenities Man, and stuff. You never know all, what you have until you don't have yeah, it. Yeah, bro. If you're born in North America and you hate your life, first of all, fucking slap your so Slap yourself across the face, look in the mirror, and say, Thank you, Lord. Yo, yo. <laughs> but what if they're no, atheist? but actually, man, you gotta be thankful to shit. You have, they don't have any central heating system there, which obviously you don't need it most of the year. You need AC, which they, they do have. But when it's cold and you're fucking freezing there. Yeah, they're built different. Yeah. You know, Jazz sent me a snap. It's negative two there right now, actually. Our cousin. Negative two in Shina? Yeah, that's cold as shit. 
It wasn't even yeah. that cold when we went there. Negative, two, I swear, negative two in India is not negative two. It's colder, bro. Because oh, ten gonna, degrees felt like zero. Bro, yeah, the heaters would turn off midnight, and I'm freezing. I wake up, I'm like, what's going on? There's no light because the heaters would. When do you guys remember what, what was it like? Like, it was, was like, it was like, oh. it was like, it was like, it wouldn't <laughs> even get to, like, I, was like, I don't know, I don't know about the temperature. Like, f- like m- the coldest will get at night is probably like four or five degrees, which is like, it, realistically, when you're in Canada, you don't think that's bad. I'm just, you keep talking, I'm just asking. Because I know what I only fuck? ask. Keep talking. Nighttime would be like four or five degrees, and you think that you look at Canada, you're like, oh, it's not that bad, but I don't know, man, there it's like way colder because you're in the mountains, I guess. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, there's no sense. central heating and shit, but. This guy doing? This guy stretching. Yeah, like I'm doing arm circle, arm circles. Producer AP, yeah. <laughs> producer AP. <laughs> and yeah, I know we've been on Shreenagar for a while. Last thing, because it's so cold, usually washrooms are colder in houses, right, bro? The washroom <laughs> was so cold. <laughs> I, I only showered that. one out of the three days for a good reason, bro. It was so. You do that home anyways, dude. You no, it. no, I've been showering more. All right, get off my deck. Get off my deck. Hop off and stop riding it like the horses we rode. All right. God damn it. You um, shout out to my horse Black Panther. I miss you so much, Jihan. That was like <laughs> <laughs> That was actually his name. What was my guy's name? I forgot. Black yeah. Panther. That was actually the name of the horse. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I switched That's the sorry. horse, man. I, I didn't fucking I want to take it back to Canada, yo. So they did they let you like ride it like yourself? Like there's no like yeah, somebody yeah, else. It was pretty much by yourself. The guys were there guiding the guide horse. I didn't listen yeah, to the guy, yeah. but it was by yourself. They're a little wild sorry. sometimes, especially Jazz's. But no, um, let me oh, stick yeah. to what I was saying. Jazz's. Because she was scared, that's why. We took uh yeah, so in the washroom, it's so cold because there's no obviously no heating system in there, right? I showered one time, bro. I swear to God, my shit shriveled up inside of me. You know, wait, hold on, hold on. No, no, but like, that's not what I was trying to say. But basically, I'm trying to say, you have to Shit's shower there. Shrimp, bro. How much, more, how much smaller are you going to get? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're fucking naked. You know what? And uh, you're just freezing. And then you have to quickly, and you have to and a we bucket a system, shower. We had a system, though, after you hop out. What? Oh, yeah, we had a system heater right there. Just fucking, and then put yeah. your clothes on. Oh, dry yourself. In the actual bedroom, so yeah. you don't freeze with the heater, death. like around the heater. That's how cold it was. Yeah. And then yeah, we had to make our way. Yeah, fucking, out. we have snaps. But the heater, up. when you when you come out the washroom, when you go straight to the heater and you just have your underwear on, or you're just naked if you weren't in the room. Fuck. Yeah, yeah. You tell the other person to go in the other room, so then you can just enjoy the heater. You know, warm yeah, it up on your penis. Bring it back out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> bring the penis back to life. <laughs> yeah, you don't revive that shit. <laughs> shit dies for like five minutes, bro. The CPR on it. <laughs> it's gonna fall off. God damn it. CPR. Yo, wait, do CPR on it? Yo, yo, what? Yo, nah, what's going on behind the camera, yo? Shit. Yeah, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah. I was going to say something else, though. Let's struggle. Let's move. Right, let's talk about the Golden Temple now, yo. I know you had um, absolutely peaceful experience. Apparently, you started tearing up. Bro, that place, first of all, I've been there multiple times. Oh, why are you laughing? Hold up. No, no, I'm not laughing, bro. I've been there. <laughs> I initiated his laugh. You just call it out. <laughs> I've been there. <laughs> I've been there multiple times, obviously, like when I was a kid and shit. It was the first time I went as an adult, and I decided that I was going to go for a swim in the holy water. Yeah, I did that too, indeed. And uh, I think I did it once when I was a kid, but like I said it from the start of the trip. I'm like, I'm 100% going to do it. And nobody else wanted to do it. And then I, I said, I'll do it. And everybody else ended up doing it. Well, everyone did it, right? Yeah, mom every, did too. Dad didn't do it. My mom did it. My dad did it. Everybody did it. Dad did it? Dad didn't do it. Dad didn't do it. No, yeah, dad did I did it, though. I wasn't going to do it at first. It. And then I didn't bring any uh, spare change of anything, but. Man, that place is the fucking most peaceful pl- rock place to, on earth. Hold on, rock to commando. It's all good. You know what I mean? Well, I rocked to commando because I didn't after bring... After or before? After because I didn't bring a pair of uh, underwear. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know that. Bro, I was wearing jeans. I had to rock a commando <laughs> after that. Yo, <laughs> Yo jeans and commando is crazy, bro. Does it, has, didn't the zipper get stuck on your pubes or some shit? Yo, whoa. <laughs> yeah. You got a jungle? Like, I can there, never, bro? ever wear fucking... Oh, oh, good. Not You're jeans, yeah. I've never done that in my life. Yeah, I've never done jeans, bro. I had to. Why'd you just take the I just rubbed off Vaseline on my butt. In the water. I just rubbed Vaseline at the I ain't going nude now, brother. No, like with your shorts or something. I didn't ha- bring anything. Oh, That's what you, saying. Saying. Yeah. you should have took my wet shorts at that point. I did wear your wet shorts, but I st- did I still wear underwear? I did still wear underwear, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Really Go ahead. Continue, continue. Okay, your yeah, experience. but um, went for a dip in the water, did like five dips. You do like five, one, two, three, four, five. Yay. And, mm-hmm. uh, and then after that, it was so, oh my God, the water was so fucking oh, cold. It was, it was cold. freezing. It was cold. I'm like, are you, bro? I'm just going to sit here for like 10, 15 seconds and just do some pot and like, you know? Look at the golden temple. Look it's at like the golden Yeah, when you're sitting in the water and you're just looking at that thing, it's like, holy, this is the most majestic thing yeah. ever, bro. Have you been to the golden temple, um, uh, group life. leader? Never in my life, but I would love to go. I'll take you there. Don't no, worry. No. There's a, there's like, I saw white people sure. there and shit too. Some, like, Asian yeah, there were some white people. I tried people there, but they're speaking Hindi, so I don't know. Right on. Asian people? Like they looked oh, Asian. They looked yeah. Asian physically. 
I tried to I tried to film there for like two seconds and then right away I basically got canned. The guy's oh, like, yeah. no, 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 you cannot film. Maybe go over here and check if you know, ask them. And then they said no because I don't know. Apparently you can't. You know they, you don't well, know. If they're gonna, you camera. don't know. They don't know if we're gonna use copyright music. But you over take it. photos. Yeah. Like with your phone. Yeah, you take yeah. few. You could even record with your phone. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I said whatever. I want to experience they it. They saw the mic and shit. That's what tripped them out. Uh, I said I want to experience it without. Uh, so was a microphone even without recording. You know. Even yeah yeah, bro. That's the place. You so know? God God sent me that next guy. Time, the guy's next like, time, stop recording. Next time you could fucking record it, but yeah. Yeah, yo, when you're just sitting and I just sat on that water for 15 seconds, just freezing my ass. I was just looking at it. I was like, bro, it was amazing. And then I came out, I swear to God, my whole, I don't know if it's from the coldness. My whole body was like vibrating, bro. Like, vi- like, like different type of, like, I've never felt that type of vibration. So in my what life. do you think it was? I don't know. Maybe it's just like fucking like holy ass water, right? I don't know. <laughs> like, fuck. Holy like, it wasn't, ass it wasn't, water is like, insane, yo. It wasn't like, it wasn't like. Let's try not to people, swear in the gold like, temple part. Okay, okay, yeah, you're right, you're right. It was like, you know, when you get cold and you're like shivering and stuff like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't like that. It was like a like a vibrational feeling, like energy type of feeling. Like yeah, it was no, crazy. Actually, it was like crazy. Be, be, it was be only, for real. Don't no, be for real. Yet. I'm not. Because I was like, yeah, what the hell? Like, am I, was I just extra cold or something? Like, I still don't know what it was. For like mm. five seconds, I just went to it. What if you had one of those Guinea Joel experiences you was talking about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm screenshotting that face right there. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. But, uh. <laughs> no, it wasn't like, it wasn't like enlightenment or anything yeah, like that. Yeah, it was yeah. just like, you know, I was like, just felt in tune with God. Like, so when did you start tearing up? And then I'll talk about my experience. But when Bro, you start- I was just like, I wasn't actually cry or anything, but like, I get tears in my eyes. Like when you're just walking around like the whole time, like multiple times. Multiple times. <laughs> yeah, Multiple times, bro, because like, yeah. it's such a peaceful place, bro. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Like, it's just, that's a... You feel so zen there. It's an amazing place to be. So that's why so many people live in Amritsar, bro, just to go there. Just I'm, to go there. Yeah, so we went, and I felt, you know, instantly feel peace, because, you know, everyone's just peaceful. It's calm. You know, it's not that loud. It's Outside loud. of Golden Temple, it's extremely loud. Yeah. But inside, it's not... Like, it's loud with people talking, obviously, because a bunch of people. Loud. It's not like, bot playing mostly. The bot is playing as well. It's Everyone's, you know, no all. one's, like, you know, doing some absurd stuff. Actually, that's kind of surprising. I never thought about that. It's not that loud at all. And for the amount of people that are there. Yeah. Let's talk about it, like, for the people who haven't been, because there's probably a lot of people who haven't, haven't been. been. Yeah. So, like, bro, you look at the gold Temple, straight gold. Made I mean, not, gold. it's not solid gold. It's just p- plated gold, I'm pretty sure, right? Or is it solid gold? It's plated yeah, gold. Fact check sure. me. You know, I'll check that. Keep talking. Yeah, you check that while I keep talking. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it felt really, really zen and... uh I felt really zen. I felt, yeah, I felt really zen. I felt really zen, man. What else? But uh, you go to each corner. At least two of the corners have like holy water. You drink it. Bro, I swear we never did that before. Do you remember the rush? Covered by 24 karat gold. Yeah, covered by 24 karat gold. But yeah, we had holy gold water. Gold plated. Each corner, like at least two of the corners of the four. You know, it's like a square almost, right? The whole area. Um, There's holy water. We drank holy water. And now we're just doing a lap around before we get in the line to go what that take or you know rest your heads in the golden temple um and <laughs> we get to the second station of the holy water you know i drink it mm. and you know what do you expect around by the way that water? water is just top never had water i like know that bro, in my life holy water tastes better than any other water and even it's not kids, even stretching it bro. even as kids when you used to watch remember daddy used to keep the water that water yeah. when you do when you have like Bot water, bro. It's just it hits different because so, it has blessings in yeah, there. Yeah, like I was thinking the exact same thing. It there. tasted exactly it like when amazing. we used to do pot in the room upstairs. Yeah, and then the water. It's really small, uh, small, not small cup. Tastes exactly the same. But yeah, had the water usually around a water station. We'll get a little water on the floor. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And maj- there's some carpet, so you don't like because it's like marble and it could be slippery. But there's carpets that you're supposed to walk on. So I drink the holy water second station, and now I'm just trying to catch up to Love Raj and my dad and my mom. I don't know where my mom was. Start walking on the tiles. Bro, I slipped so bad. Didn't even see I it. I almost see busted it. my buttocks. On badly. marble. On very bro. hard marble, bro. bro. Straight marble. Bro, and everyone's there. And like oh in front of the gold devil. Like, yo, what's going on? Yo, God, why are you making me <laughs> fall right now, bro? Right? But I mean, technically, I didn't fall fully. Maybe like, I'm just like, messing with you, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's jokes. You're just messing with me, I'm just messing with you, play. That's my dog, man. That's my dog. Why is he black? <laughs> 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 Wait, why God, is, why God is, is whatever he wants himself. to be, bro. So he can be black, he can be brown. <laughs> I'm just bro. messing with you, player. That's give me that, dude. What is that? Like Indian? <laughs> Indian accent. <laughs> yeah. Should you do Asian one next? <laughs> Maybe not. Right. And you should because you are one. Yeah, somebody. We mistake, actually are. People mistake all you for Asian. Asian. We're South Asian. Yeah, technically, we are, but people mistake next me time, for being China. Next time somebody comments that you look Asian, be like, yes, I'm South Asian. That's a lube reply right there. But we'll move on. <laughs> um, but yeah, I absolutely <laughs> slipped so bad. I almost fell. I don't know how I saved myself. That was so embarrassing because it was like, one of those are like, yo. <laughs> like, like, yo. <laughs> like, never fell. I just kept swimming. You know, you know those videos of people like slipping on ice? <laughs> That's how you caught up to us. You're just going like this. You know, towards us. 
<laughs> that's the cutest that's jokes, too. No, that wasn't a good sound effect for that. But uh, you could have like my mom was behind us and she saw that she's like, "Yo, right?" And then she's like, "Are you okay? Are you okay?" I'm like, "I'm good." Mom just dives in to catch you. <laughs> your mom somehow saves the child. You know, every time you're driving, it's like, you put your you put the hand on your chest so you don't fall forward. It's like, bro, you just did a normal break. But uh, that's an experience that every single kid but, has experienced. But what I was gonna say is, uh, yeah, I almost slipped. It was pretty bad. If you slipped, bro, you would have busted your head open. If Probably I slipped, bro, bleeding. I don't know if I was believing in God after that, bro. <laughs> 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 no, no, I'm joking, but you know, you got, saved, you got saved by God, yeah. I got saved by God, yeah, yeah so I yeah, believe yeah. even more now, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, we hopped in the line. Yeah, it was like a life changing, like, it was a life changing, like a little slip. No, but still, no, no, saved by God, mid regardless. Slip, I got invited, bro. I started Getty Joe. I was a Getty Joe. You got, you got saved by God, regardless. Dar. Uh, the Getty Joe moment we're talking about is from the last pod where he like rolls his eyes when explaining his story of enlightenment, by the way, just to give context. Play the, play the, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wait, where is it? Where'd he go? Oh yes indeedy. <laughs> oh yes indeedy. Yeah. No, but uh, shout out getting Joel, man. Um Yeah, so we waited in the line. And the line did not feel as bad as it did when I was a kid. Waiting in the Golden Temple line was because not that bad. Because you're older. Yeah, so I feel like I was just looking around, taking everything and taking the water in. Bro, I hate when people start budging in front of you, but you know, with the big pack, pack line that happens you know all the time. Um, but yeah, it was so nice matta taking. And then after, bro, I didn't know Golden Temple, you could go up the stories and stuff. Like I thought it was just, you know, matta taking ghetto because that's what we always did as kids or at least that one time we went, right? Once? Yeah, because yeah. it's so packed there. So. Yeah, so packed. Like, this time you... Who knows, maybe we have to go somewhere after that, yeah, right? Yeah. But this time we had some time and we checked out the second floor and the third floor on top of the Golden Temple. Yeah, like at the very top. Yeah, I snuck like a quick video just a little while. You, you couldn't know? record it, right? I didn't you do it. I didn't because there was a guy there, but I didn't do it. I just snuck a quick video like by my waist type shit, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. Even mom, mom, you know, this team also don't care. They just start doing it like yeah, a little yeah. bit. But uh, <laughs> not extremely. But uh, yeah, that was super spiritual. Mom opinion. would be like, go up to the guy who's like taking care of the top. Can you take pictures of us, please? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be insane. <laughs> She didn't see the slide, but uh, yeah, yo, it was nice. See, you get the whole view of like the whole area where the golden temple is, and yeah, touch the gold. You got to touch. And, and this was the first Whoa. time. This is the first time we saw it at nighttime too. Holy man! Yo, nighttime hits. It is a holy place indeed. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's no, but actually, like you know, like the it lights, hits. like the way, like even just not the golden temple, the surrounding part of the golden temple, like yeah. the the walls and yeah. the lights they have on there. Crazy. Yeah, they actually made it look beautiful at nighttime. I'll like, pop it up here. I took a crazy photo. I think. No, no, I'm gonna pop it right here. All right, you go ahead. And I don't know how to do yeah, that. Yeah, now yeah, you have yeah. to do it. I'm leaving it to you. So now yeah. that I want to watch, you got to mark it. You got to tell me where it is. No. Yeah. You should have listened to the whole pod yourself, okay. like right. I do. Let's move on because uh, we're already going for a while. Should we go to Dubai? Yeah. So that pod. was pretty. That was pretty much India wrapped, man. Yeah, wrapped up highlights. Uh, probably missed a lot of things, but you know, the maybe main wa- parts. watch follow UV Strau, uh link in description uh, YouTube channel part also, two part two of the India trips coming up. Comment down below if you're able to like picture any of these things because if you weren't, that means we did not explain it to you properly at all. Comment below if you've also. Would you guys say is your favorite India trip out of all your? Oh, the host has spoken. <laughs> yes, yeah, I, was, I was listening to you guys, man. I'm the know, audience, know, you know. I know, I know, yeah. I was yeah. in tune. Were you able story. to visualize what we were yeah, talking 100%, about? Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, you guys were Are describing sure it good. I was fucking not even saying anything. Are you did? You're yeah, locked, I was locked in. Are you sure? It's not because you own a part of this podcast now. Are you not trying to? No, 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 no. he's just trying to tell the audience this is a good podcast, guys. This is a great podcast. Podcast because you make hundred k a month and you're getting ninety nine of that. It's a fake podcast. But okay, what were you saying? <laughs> no, I was saying, is it your favorite a month, one day. trip? Like, of, like oh. all the times you guys went to um, India. Oh, yeah, 100%. Because yeah. we're older. older and that's yeah, yeah. Going when you're older compared to kids, you enjoy much more because of the partying along with the spirituality, along with the just touching your uh, mother land. Your mother land. And along with all that, you just understand everything that's happening around you. You can like take it more in. And, you, and it's going to be actual solid memory in your head. You're going to remember yeah, it properly. I feel like I was a dumbass last you know? time I went. I don't know why. Last time you went, you were a little younger. I still like, I was like in grade like 10. Yeah, I was grade 8. Like, it, was still, like, <laughs> it wasn't 12. bad for you, but still bad. different yeah. level now. But yeah, yeah Dubai. Grade eight, God damn, I don't remember shit from grade 8, bro. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, I Flew to Dubai. Another, what was it? Three hours? Dubai shit. Hey. Three to four hours, like that. three to four hour flight. You know, chills. Land, big problem. You talk about it. Oh my god, bro! We landed. Oh, we it. actually found this out on the way. So let's my dad. It, let's make it concise as well. We'll make it concise. Me, you, and my mom are Canadian citizens. We have Canadian passports. My dad is still an Indian citizen. He has not applied for his Canadian citizenship. He has an Indian passport. <laughs> to get into Dubai with the Canadian passport, all they have to do is stamp your passport, and you're in the country. To get into India with a Indian or getting to Dubai with an Indian passport, you need a visa. 
Yeah, you need a visa. You need a visa or an American visa that's valid for more than two months. So my dad's like, oh, yeah, I got an American visa. No, <laughs> it's not valid for two months. You're not allowed into the country. Valid. It was valid. This guy was not allowed to get into the country. Technically, 100% he wasn't because our uh, his visa was expiring in one month, was it? Or two like weeks? Less than a month. It was like two, three weeks or something, bro. So yeah, unfortunate. Yeah, so it's like, what if we let this guy into the country and he never comes out, you know? So we're shitting it at this point. We're like, yo, okay, what if dad out, has to fly back, bro? Yeah. This guy was choked, yo. Uh, but what if, what if our dad has to fly back yeah. and we have to do this whole Dubai trip with just us three? That'll be just like, it'll be like obviously we get to enjoy Dubai, but not as much as like your whole. No, you wouldn't it. enjoy it as much, hundred percent. Like, yeah, like it would be the you know what underlying like so, feeling. Yeah. So me and Yvi, we get past security. My mom goes back and help my dad out, and me and Yvi are just like waiting there with all. We have all the luggage. We're like the only ones from this flight left still in the airport. We're just waiting, 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 waiting. Still nothing's happening. Still nothing's happening. We're trying to keep up to my mom. Apparently they have to apply for a visa on the spot now because there's literally no way to get into the country without a visa. So they have to apply for a visa on the spot. Yeah. And our fucking driver that's supposed to take us to the hotel room is waiting outside. It's been like two hours at this point. Apparently he was there for like five hours. I don't know why he was three hours early. Yeah, yeah. That's his fault. But uh, well, he's yeah. been there for a while because our flight got delayed too. And we told him, and fucking yeah. check your shit. But yeah. whatever, that's besides the point. <laughs> no, the driver's chills actually. But I'm calling him up now. So we're like, we finally <laughs> go outside. We get to buy SIM cards because we need some way of connecting. We go outside. We have a shit ton of like luggage with us because mind you, we went to India for three weeks and we have all the luggage with us. Yeah, like seven Everything. Bags, seven so this guy brought a big just... ass van. Like Sprinter. Shit. Sprinter, big Sprinter that holds like yeah. 10, 12 people. I felt like I was like fucking two changes some shit. he only brought it. <laughs> Dude, rock on. Yeah, well, he only brought it for the luggage, right? <laughs> like I was got a billionaire. Whatever, we meet him outside. He's like, I've been waiting for this long. Yeah. And then... Uh, like, like, fuck that. you, buddy. He's actually Punjabi at the end of the day. I didn't yeah. know that at first. But here, let me tell you. Let me tell you something funny. What? So we're on the way, right? I don't <laughs> think you heard this. All right. oh, yeah, yeah. So we're on the way there and I'm like sitting in the middle, like kind of close to him. Driver's up here. I'm here. Yuvi's all the way in the back. Can't hear anything at all, right? Yuvi's yeah. all the way in the back. So you can't hear anything. Just like Big looking at the window vibing, right? Long car, long car. And I guess, so we booked our thing through a travel agent, like one of my mom's friends or whatever. And I guess they're talking to the guy who coordinates everything in Dubai. And the guy called him and he's like, uh, probably asked him, like, did you pick the kids up? Because yeah. my mom's referring to us as kids, right? Obviously, like we're... We're yeah, grown adults, but we're still mom, my mom's kids. Yeah, right? our parents' eyes were kids. Bro. We're kids, right? It's about our parents. Old we are. And uh, the guy who was on the phone, he's like, Ye to pure bande hai bhai. <laughs> Ye to pure bande hai bhai. Koi bachche nahi. <laughs> so he thought some like fucking like yeah, bro. year olds are pulling yeah. up. I guess, I guess he thought we didn't understand. Ye to pure bande hai bhai. Dubai to bande hai. I don't know. I don't think he, because I, when I talked to him, I talked to him in English. So I don't think he knew that we understood Hindi or Punjabi. Yeah, because we Fully like understood English. what he said. And then after that, I started speaking to him in Hindi, right? On purpose. Oh, you started dropping the Hindi bombs? Yeah, because he started asking questions. I started replying to him in Hindi slash Punjabi. Wait, not the bombs. For just ca- just so he knows I understood what he said before. <laughs> just want to flex on him, bro. Yeah. Just got just to flex on him, bro. Uh, I just had to make sure. Wait, what was that one line? And then he's like, he's like uh, Punjabi. Yeah. And then he started talking Punjabi after that. Yeah, a lot of people, they were Punjabi. A lot of our drivers. No, most of people, a lot of, almost like, actually, I think every single driver we had there was from Pakistan. Yeah, there's a lot of Pakistan. I don't think I had a, any other driver except for people from Pakistan. Um, but yeah, we get to the hotel. It's wonderful, beautiful. We still don't know if our dad could get in. Um, but eventually, thank God, our dad was able to get yeah. in Dubai. Everyone, congratulations. Let's go. Claps? Ooh, where's the claps? Shit. Father Sarah got into Dubai. <laughs> That's what she said, yeah. Did they want me in Dubai? Yeah. Guess what I did? I went into Dubai. I forced into my door. Wait, what? No, I forced myself into Dubai the, with the airplane. You know what the other problem was that day, though? Uh, you know what the other problem was? We had a cruise like booked at five o'clock, oh, and yeah. we already got to the airport around like or to the hotel around like three. So we're like, "Are you chill? We have time. We have shower, time." Whatever. But we didn't know if they were gonna. But get we didn't know if they were gonna get there on time, and they got there right on time. Oh, they we right went on, on a cruise. Went on the cruise, and I have so many. Dr- okay, first of all, old people, you guys love cruises, bro. You guys can love getting mm. drunk and party on cruises. Like I, that is the thing for old people. Bro. One night in <laughs> Dubai. You know the song. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, this song they played on the cruise is so mean. Oh, I should add it on here. Do you think about yeah, that? Yeah, that would be jokes. We could just put it in. You know, we're trying to get copyright. It's a big song. Come on now. But uh, yeah, we are often the cruise and I got one story. The food was good. Everything was good. The vibes were good. It was, it was not bad. The views were the best part of the cruise. We didn't dance because there was a bunch of old people dancing. There was one guy who we saw all night that was like with no one the whole time, right? Because yeah. usually people come with at least one person, like a couple or like family. He just by himself. He gets so drunk throughout the night. I see him, right? <laughs> this guy gets so drunk. I see him like going up to this mom. That's like an Asian, like Jinni mom, right? You mm. know, a bunch of different mm. diversity. You know, tourist place Dubai, right? Large just tourists. straight goes up to just dance. Everyone's drunk at this point, right? Just grabbing her ass so vigorously. 
Right? Like, it's like, but like, she she was <laughs> fine with this. So like, fucked. thank God she was fine with it because it seemed like she probably fucking out herself. Probably couldn't even feel how hard she was grabbing that ass. Nah, no, she was like, what? What's <laughs> going on? Right? Like, but she was fucking with it, right? So I was like, I right, yeah, turn on, bro. <laughs> yeah, <Yo>. fucking. <laughs> He was fucking with it. Vigorously grabbing her ass. He's so drunk. And I've been seeing him the whole night. He's like drunk as hell. And this guy's like what? Arabic? Yeah, he's 100% Arabic. Arab, um, Arabi, bhai. Bhai Arabi. Or what? Kashmiri, bro. Like, I'm not sure. Yeah, he looked like, you know. He looked. Arabic. We're making an assumption. Who was in black, white, China, or. If somebody were to look at us, else. would they think we're from Jabbi? Like off assumption? I don't think so. I don't know. They probably think we're Arab. Arab, Arab, Arab. Oh, yeah. Arab. Yeah, absolutely that. But yeah, he gets Arab. so drunk. Then I don't know where we're sitting on the side. We're sitting at our table and shit. It's on the rooftop right beside the dance floor. So I comes over. He's so drunk. He's like out of his mind. You know, like looking around. Not How even do you looking at roll people. your eyes like that? You did it first. But uh, he sits right beside me. Right here. Right beside me where it's like, bro, you're like in no space. Like right there. No space. You're invading my space and the like table beside me. Touching knees, you know? Yeah, like damn near touching knees. And he just doesn't care who's beside him. Doesn't say hello, hi or anything, yeah. right? Or can I see you for a second? <clears throat> just sit, sits, not saying one word. Drunk. And uh, and then I'm like, Loki, I'm going to tell this guy to get up. But I'm like, whatever. He probably needs to sit down. He's drunk as hell. He's not, you know, bothering me that much. He'll probably get up soon. But no, yo, this guy, this guy, he leans like forward. Like he's like, you know, basically like this. Basically just like lean forward. Like, like he's, he's like, like fighting yeah, the demon. You know like when you're fighting the, the demons, demons? The demon like, yeah. pose. That's you, the demon pose. When you get too drunk and you're fighting <laughs> the demons. Like <laughs> I'm like, yo, this guy about to throw up. He better not throw up on me or my shoes or anything, right? I'll be pissed. But no, he didn't throw up. He just leaned forward. And then when he got back up, Rises back up and he puts his fucking hand on my like knee slash thigh. Like he probably like in his head he's probably like brother I just fought a demon. No no, <laughs> he, bro he didn't even know he probably did that. Yeah, he's just like yeah, getting yeah. up and he just like puts it there and he keeps it there. I'm like what the I fucking threw his hand <laughs> off me. I'm like what the fuck you doing man? Like why you say inner sir he came up? Yeah, yeah I'm like fuck you doing yeah. Yeah I'm like yo I ain't letting you touch fucking me. You fucking group. goddamn. Yeah, it's just random guy just comes to touch you. Yeah, know, that's right. so weird. And it's like bro, a drunk bro. ass yeah, yeah. dude and like he just kept it there. I'm like. In like a split second, and yeah. I tossed it off. And he was so drunk where he has no reaction to me tossing it off fast. Right? <laughs> he just got up after that. <laughs> no, he didn't get up right away. He was just there. I'm like, and then I told him to go. I'm like, yo, get out of here. Go to the washroom. You need to go to the washroom or some shit, right? I was still kind of nice, yeah, too. Yeah. But yeah, that was like, bro, but I just got assaulted in Dubai, right? Bro, if, if it was any other person, <laughs> like, uh, excuse me, sir. <laughs> if it was any other person, they'd be like, oh, excuse me, sir. Why do you have your hand here? Uh, sir, you people, yo, get the fuck <laughs> over here. <laughs> excuse me, can you please put your hand a little. I don't know what I was trying to go. Can you please it. stay in your personal bubble? You'll get the shit off before <laughs> I miss you, yo. <laughs> <laughs> That's absolutely amazing. That is not what I said, but I said close to that. Honestly, I was kind of pissed. Dubai, because, man. Dubai. Because I was waiting for something to happen. And when it happens and you're expecting it, it's like, get the fuck out of you, you know? But yeah, that I was I love my, Dubai, bro. I want to move to Dubai. This guy says that about every <laughs> yeah, single place. That's place. my toxic treat. <laughs> It is your toxic. It's a red that's flag. My to- that's my red flag. That's my toxic tree. <laughs> if we want to add, please, please, I go to want to move there. This is a call her daddy podcast, call her mommy podcast, and uh, Lavraj is a girl who always wants to go back. Take me back, Take TBT. Me back. Throwback Thursday. No, I might as well flashback put, Friday. Flashback Friday. You might as well throw that shit at her story at this point. No, nah, yo, but okay, okay. I know, I know. I I always say like, yo, I love. Okay, first of all, I love my Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, re- I'm getting used to it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm I know, there. I know. I always say a lot, lot, but that's what no, I but like. I always say that. Like, I want to move to the place I go to. Like, I always say, well, I would be sick to live. I didn't say that about Jamaica. I didn't. I don't fuck. I ain't living well, in fucking Jamaica. That's Jamaica. Yeah, it's a one-time thing. It's you don't but have to go there again. Unless I love to travel. I love being places, but fuck, man. I think Dubai has their society knocked down, bro. Yeah, society is. It's like the future society. That's why it's almost perfect because there's so many laws, and we could get into. We talk about laws, and I think that's the reason why they're so. Successful in keeping shit safe, bro. They're, they have strict laws. They instill discipline, and their religions like that too. Speaking it's of laws, like should I give you guys? Uh, where is it? The craziest laws in Dubai. Yeah. You guys want to hear the craziest laws in Dubai? All right, I got like six for you guys. Right, number one, the craziest laws in Dubai for the clip. Number one, no spitting or littering in public on the ground or anything like you, you can't spit anywhere yeah. and you can get a fine up to 200 dirhams i mean obviously you can do it but if they see you do it you're gonna get 200 dirham fine which what is, is like that, 100, what is 100 that bucks? in canadian 100 bucks 100 bucks yeah, yeah. maybe a little under bro, 100 and we're talking about spitting here on the street yeah, on the sidewalk spit, like you yeah. gotta spit like i want to spit right now like fuck, yeah, bro, yeah. bro my dad Not on my cock like or dad bro we just let mm. it rip out the window remember oh my here's the like, like, <laughs> Fucking everywhere, bro. Missiles. Hundred dollar fine. Hundred dollar fine. Hundred dollar fine. Fucking. This guy's throwing dirhams. This guy's like two hundred dirhams everywhere. Yeah. I spat like two times. You didn't catch me, you mother sucker. But uh, 
They couldn't come get you, dog. Yeah. I dropped it too, like on the sidewalk where everyone's. Uh, I had to drop in front of the hotel, man. I don't care. The, pizza, the pizza guy couldn't find shit? me. Like, pissed off. Like, but like, oh. how would they gonna? How do they like? Like monitor that. Like like if they, is just it just see like you. if they see it's you? Not or like something? that. Like oh, obviously yeah. you could just spit like that. But if they see you, do before it. I knew that though, I had like a nasty because I was still kind of I was still sick in Dubai. I had a nasty like yellow one. And then straight up, future museum. They probably got the Past. DNA of that now, and they're oh, not gonna let yeah. you back into the country. <laughs> Next when you time try I go to the back. museum of future, you know how they had that robotic like moving AI that you could talk to. Next time they have a clone of me, <laughs> you know, with the DNA of so all of you. No, that's insane. Yeah. We go in there, it's like me. I'm like, yo, what's going <laughs> on? <laughs> that I asked that. There's an like AI. We went to the museum of future as like a future stuff. It's like a futuristic museum, whatever. And there's like an AI robot who you could talk to and it actually answers your questions. Like, what's mm. your name? What's the color? What's this gonna be like in 2035? You know what I'm saying? And I asked it. Gay son or thought daughter? I will put the video here. You have the video <laughs> Stop right? yeah, I asked again. Did you see that? Yeah, yeah I, think I asked again. I and I was like waiting. I was like, there's so many people around. I'll give a fuck up. Gay son or thought daughter? There's like a mic. And her answer was funny as fuck too. It's a real she, answer. I don't, we don't look at this. I don't know. Yeah, like it was like an actual answer. That's some political right answer. Like it shit. wasn't like a default like answer. It was like an actual, like she's yeah. reacting to what you just said answer. That's which crazy. is crazy. Fucking surreal to think about. That's like, where a the world body, is going. like a whole yeah, body. Yeah, it was a whole body. It was like she was moving and shit too. Her body parts were moving. Yeah. He wasn't walking. Yeah, but it was scary. I mean, she seemed, she seemed like a nice lady. But, uh, <laughs> Amy was smirking. Uh, I mean, I don't know I said Amy, but... Yeah, oh, I don't. Banging, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to say Arpit smirking For in the back. For a robot? Arpit no, Arp Arp smirking in the back thinking about sex robots in the future. <laughs> bro, <laughs> bro, man. This mother's like a chair sex What's baby. your favorite thing about Dubai? No, wait, let me continue with the laws. Oh, you're still going? There. Oh, yeah, fuck. Fuck, we just... Wow. I okay, number two. The fuck up then. Number two, PDA. You can't have any public display of affection. Jail time. You can get jail time for that. Now that one's questionable though. Like a now. kiss on the cheek. That's PDA. No, 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 all of that's questionable in Dubai. What is it? UAE, 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 United Arab mm. Emirates, like the country. Yeah. You did anywhere else? Hundred percent. But in Dubai, it's. I'm pretty sure it's chill. Is it changing? Like I know you can hold hands. No, I you can hold hands. I saw people kissing too. Like. I mean, that guy was grabbing ass. God damn it. What are we talking? It was like a lot of... It was actually a like lot of... Rules 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 like, that's a cruise, right? It was in the it was ocean on the cruise. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm pretty sure like oh. in Dubai, is they're super light about it now. I think it's, it's changing. Think about, th think about like what they wear and shit too. They don't care no, about that. In Dubai anyway. Crazy? What? No, they care about what you wear still. You can't wear next level revealing titties. Bro, what the fuck? That means you were not paying attention, bro. <laughs> no. <laughs> You can't no, not <laughs> next level. No, like no, no, I did more research than you. You can't that much. Well, no, we just went there and saw it with our eyes. Key. What do you mean research? We just went there and saw it with our eyes. I didn't see any fucking titties. Yeah, eyes, bro. Bro. I didn't see any. I didn't see any. I didn't see any. No, I. Fuck, that puts me in a fucking. Can I, can I even well, speak I, on this? Can I speak were, about experience? There were some places I didn't go there. Well, that's like different. That's like a club setting, bro. No, I'm not even talking about that. I'm talking about in public, bro. I don't know. Uh, I'm going off what I read, and I, I didn't see that many like. Oh, okay. I don't know why you're going off what you read when like, you were literally bro, right there. Like, <laughs> bro, do you know those fits that people in LA like those girls wear? Are you crazy? I did not see someone wear that. Bro, I saw girls with like short ass skirts, like fucking tank tops. I saw it. Mm, <laughs> you saw it, huh? Wait, I didn't <laughs> see that. <laughs> Shout out, Leisha. I just back. exposed <laughs> myself. Fuck. <laughs> No, but what I'm saying is, like, I thought about that same shit, too. I'm like, yo, like, aren't these bitches supposed to be fully covered up, right? <laughs> bitches? What do you mean women with joke. value? They, aren't these women, beautiful women in Dubai that are probably, you know, being run by a Sheikh Mohammed or something? Yo, that's insane. <laughs> that's a Sheikh Mohammed. Supposed to be covered guy. up a little bit, and aren't they going to get fine? But now, I think in recent, maybe what you read is a little outdated. In recent years, they're super lenient about it. It's not maybe. as much. Obviously, if you're just fucking like you're you're like you're naked with your tits out or something. Okay, obviously, yeah, that's anywhere. Or your but dick out, but okay, relax. I feel like that makes sense because it's like a tourist. Like you know, a lot of people go there. Yeah, so that's what I'm yeah. saying. Like, how much can you really control in a tourist spot? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, I'm just saying the laws. This is like these are laws still. I'm pretty sure. Um, and then number three, swearing up to three years in jail. Up to, um, yeah, if you just constantly swear in public that much, yeah, definitely. I didn't hear any swears in public like that. People are very well spoken there. Here are people saying, fuck this, fuck but that. But it like slips that. out or something. Yeah. They, have like, they have like that. three, Yo, four. Still. So yeah. they have like three official languages, bro. What are they? Like Hindi, English, and like Arabic. Is Arabic a language? Is Arabic a language? Like, Arabic. I don't want to sound wrong here. Arabic. Is it? What is, is it? it? I don't think so. Is it? So what's the, what's the language? Can we trust no, it our is. No, no, it is. I think it is too. I think so. Do you speak Arabic? Yo, are we do you speak Arabic? Arabic. Like, yeah. Arabic. Arabic. Like, translate that Arabic. I, 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 don't the, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, whatever, bro. Uh, they, and then that's like, there. No, you know that language. I don't want to. I don't want to <laughs> see that. I'm not saying it in an offensive way. I just don't know. I I don't know if it's right or not. I'm pretty sure it is. For my Arabs here, please let me know in the comments. I know my pronunciation on that is fucking spot on. Number four. 
<laughs> using your balcony to dry clothes is illegal because they want to maintain their aesthetic. Oh yeah, I saw that one. And that's it could be on a drying rack. I like that. But actually putting it over your balcony, like hanging on your balcony. Just so everything like it's looks clean, illegal. you yeah, know? So, like, like, when do you ever see like you know, it's not Cape Town or some shit where there's like a bunch of like, houses crowded and shit like that. Rooftops you can walk on and like, you yeah. know, a bunch you of You went to Cape Town? No, I just feel like I've, I've recalled a Hindi movie memory. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like Fast and Furious or something? Some shit, yeah. some shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Um, Doom or something like that, you know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> um, Number five, eating in public transport is illegal. Now that makes sense because, you know, Dubai wants to stay clean. You want to lit, you can't litter. Honestly, you should have tested that one. Well, you, you can't eat it, like you can't eat on like the train or whatever. No, like, 100%, no. We didn't. We didn't use the train. But we should just went on the train, seeing if somebody's eating. And be like, hey, you can't eat on the train. I highly <laughs> doubt it because this one makes super Dubai a lot of sense. Because if you eat on the plane, there's a high chance you're gonna litter it after too. But uh, because yeah. litter but is nobody one. nobody litters there. That's the other thing. That's what I'm saying. Because that's no, one of the laws: bro, just, spitting or littering. Yeah, but people just don't do. It. Like, it's like it's not even about the law part. It's just like are you like nobody else do it? Why why would I litter? You know, like yeah. So that's except for cigarette butts. You'll see cigarette butts on the ground. People love smoking cigarettes there. And yeah. nicotine for the amount of people Hookah. love it though, not even that much on the ground, but uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's facts. This is good because they have like designated like smoking like areas and they have trash. You guys, everywhere. did you guys like see people like cleaning up or something? Like, or yeah, is it just not dirty at nighttime? Oh. You did like on our street, actually? Yeah, I didn't see, but yeah, it was I'm like pretty sure clean. we were walking together actually, bro. The you roads are so attention. clean in Dubai that when you're turning, like some of the times when a car is turning. It's squeaky, like, like you know what? It's like your tires so squeaky. clean. Like, you know what? Yeah. Underground yeah, parking, yeah, 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 like that. Like, like bro, uh, yeah, that's like in the downtown area, very downtown area, like by Burj Khalifa, by Dubai Mall. But you like see like a G wagon drive by, and like make a turn, screeching on the on the road because that's how clean it is. Fucking crazy. But uh, number six, final one. This one's wild as well. Like all these are pretty wild. Swearing at someone on social media, and people have actually been caught. And like, like if you just like swearing at someone personally on social media, personal exchange of convo, and it's somehow. I don't know, gets they tab, I'm pretty sure they look at everything. It gets yeah. through, like, you could legit get jail time for that. Like, like that messaging? Just, yeah, yeah, messaging. Messaging too. Yeah, and there is, oh. like, actual cases where this happened, like, a Houston woman. I don't know her name. And this is recent stuff, okay, too. I was probably messaying these guys. Yeah, saying, bro, fuck, that's fuck, that's fuck, what fuck. I was thinking, too, right up. Yeah, I know. Say, Wait, I these guys like, messaging us? I know, but, like, you know, I don't know how they, they got caught. something yeah. else, too. I don't know how they got caught, but, yeah, you can't. Like, I don't know. Like, they don't There has to be something else, too. There's no way. They have their own, like, FaceTime stuff, too. Oh, the other. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was about to say. They don't even have. Bro. Boto map. Boto map. Please download Boto map. That's what I'm like, tour guys. Bro, no WhatsApp there. WhatsApp does work, actually. You can message, video call. They have it blocked. FaceTime doesn't work. WhatsApp, Snapchat. Snapchat. Nothing works None for FaceTime. They only have one video calling app and it's bottom app. Bottom. Bottom. And it's They're not bottom. even HD because they want you to pay a dollar to upgrade <laughs> That's HD. It's like 720p you pay a dollar for premium bottom. To get 1080p. Like I'm not even getting some bottom. Yeah. For real. Oh, you know I got free VIP actually like because I wasn't using it and then I guess they just gave it to me for one week. Because they wanted me to use it. But I'm running bottom. Dubai. When I come back to Dubai I'll use it Habibi. That's a bottom <laughs> moment right there. Um, <clears throat> so you yeah. tell me you were saying something before the pod. What you were like? I don't. I think Dubai is too clean for me to move there. What do yeah, you mean Yeah, like by I that? feel like it's too strict. You know, for example, we just like talked about strict? these rowdy laws. Like, so what are you gonna do that? And there's no with like, their like I want some rowdy shit happening when I go downtown out to the. If I like go to the club ever, even though I don't do it like that, like you know what I mean? Like, like if I do club. it, like it's too, it's too clean. Like I don't want to live there. You know what I mean? Like, like you'd go there. What's for your, a what's your, like, like I want to be able to say, "Fuck this, like, <laughs> this Domino's absolutely shit." <laughs> like I want to be able to say that at nighttime. And not get a can for it. And you can get can. Like, I, we, like this is law, bro. Yeah. I think. Okay. So that one's done. So for the last bit, we, oh, fuck. What should we do then? I told you we only had 30 minutes on that. It's been 30 minutes now. Since should we, we wrap this bitch up then? Yeah. Should we just wrap it up? What else do you got? We'll just finish up what we, uh, with the final thing we were talking about. What, were you what talking was I saying? You think it's too clean and shit? Yeah. I mean, bro. Okay. Here, let me I, face I, that I, camera slide. In thing. Dubai. You're were you lo- looking at Dubai laws or UA? U- did he say UA? I searched sure up Dubai laws, bro. But yeah, I think Dubai's getting very lenient. Let's get now. off the laws, but yeah, I, I think, think Dubai's getting very lenient now. Yeah, but I still wouldn't move there. I wouldn't move there. I would move you there. You can't get permanent residency there, but yeah, I would move there because unless you're born there. there's sun all year round. Actually, this is what it'd it's be. I'd go there in the, the winter. Sun. I'd be a snowbird and go to Dubai. But you I'd stay there for like months? Would you like? I spent half the year like, in Dubai. Uh, get a place there or something? Plus, family like got I'd, there. Like have a place spend, there? This is what I do. Yeah, yeah I'd yeah. get like I'd spend half the year in Dubai and then like half. That's the year mad. Year. I wouldn't spend half a year in Dubai. I spend like two weeks. Yeah. But you fucking rather stay here? Bro, in the my family. What are you gonna do there by yourself? Like you're gonna do that a little bit of that. What are you gonna do? 
Like, if money's not a problem, what do you mean? you're you scared to be by yourself? Would you live there? No, like, would I you just, have a place? Nice to have company. If money's not a problem, you wouldn't want to have a place. Yeah, why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't yeah, I? Who said that? Yeah. yeah, so that's what I'm trying to go to. I'm, I'm not trying, trying, to, make, I'm trying to make money not being a problem we here, moved brother. On for, we went from me talking about legit moving there to talking about a few months, and then I'm like, no, I wouldn't do a few months. I'd do a couple weeks. I would move there. My goal is to move there, actually. Like, at least have a place there that I can go to whenever I want. That's, that's my goal. not move there, though. You're saying saying two different things. Okay, I'd that's be based technically moving out there. of you get a place there, you move there. Bro. Okay, first I don't if, 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 you if, that, if you're saying it like that, I don't want to move anywhere. Then I want to be fucking everywhere. That's my goal. Ah, uh, nomad bay. Rabbi did a safari. I could do that shit all day long. We really. had 30 minutes. You're in the middle of the desert driving a fucking doom buggy. Like how fucking cool is that? I feel like there's some treasure hidden. Oh, really? Somewhere yeah. there, right? Somewhere in that's that. I mean, is that so where they funny. found the fucking oil? The treasure that fucking made the whole country rich? Probably. Yeah, I mean, that was the treasure. They literally built a whole fucking city just from finding that oil. Baj Khalifa. <laughs> Most expensive city. And these guys love having the world's biggest everything. Yeah, right? Besides world's cock. biggest water park, world's biggest tower, world's biggest... <laughs> but the world's biggest cock is in Surrey, BC. Right in front of you. Whip it out there, brother. Never mind, I saw Drake's. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> yeah, that's it's popping it. up right here. <laughs> No, I want to pop it up right <laughs> here, yo. That's <laughs> it, yo. That's it. Okay, let me show. Let yeah, me show. but uh, Red Bull got me cracked. That the <laughs> that's safari was sick, desert yeah. safari is so much fun, and it looks so like not real. Like it, looks it doesn't so, look real. Yeah, because it's so clean. Cause sand is just sand. It's no, just but it's red up. sand too, so it doesn't stick to your shoes or anything. Uh, like it doesn't knowledge. stick to your clothes. It just no. falls off. It just comes right off. I've never seen that ever anywhere. Yeah, and then wait, what do we? Like, oh, so yeah, the, used to like oh, beach sand. The mm. off roading too. We did off roading after we rode the dune buggy type thing. We did off roading. The guy, our driver, did it. And like a Toyota mm. 4Runner or something like that. My mom and dad were shitting it. And eventually after the off-roading was done, it, bro, we damn near flipped over. People Man, flip over sometimes. No, he was going to go on two wheels, bro. I asked him beforehand. I'm like, are you going to go on two wheels? He's like, yeah, I can do it. But I think he didn't do it because mom guys are tripping. No, dad was shitting it. Mom wasn't tripping, but mom was the one who ended up throwing up after, bro. She threw no, up sure. after so you hopped again, out the car. Part two. <laughs> part two. Yeah, first it was Air India. Then it was just regular throwing up. And then we didn't even talk about India back or whatever. Fuck it. But yeah, she threw up. And then... Uh, <sighs> It's too yeah. much. We'll save that for some other There's time, I guess. It's too much, man. We couldn't even touch up man, on everything. Fuck, man, fuck, man. Like, Comment down below if you guys pod. want part two of this. If you guys uh, want a part two of this or like maybe a little small two. segment next time we have a boys pod, we'll talk yeah. about it. Just tell us because you motherfuckers don't comment. If you don't tell us, if you don't want to comment, fucking DM Dream Chasers and tell us or something. It's getting aggressive again. I like that. Yeah. Why'd but you, yeah, why'd yeah. you micro? There's a lot of shit we didn't touch on. Bro, Emil sent me a message through his neural link to tell me to say that. I did. He said, say you like that. <laughs> okay, fuck, why? Yeah, I, did. I don't know, man. I, mean, I, <laughs> did, bro, I don't know, technology is too advanced. <laughs> Apple Vision I Pro, do, we'll I talk do. about that some other day. Yo, <laughs> on the Air India flight, bro, fuck Air India. Give me the shittiest plane you got, just give me Apple Vision Pro. <laughs> yeah. Air India, just give me Apple Vision Pro, bro. Yo, I'm chilling. For people, you know, we're from Surrey. I'll just ask a quick question about Apple Vision Pro. Why not? Because I just had this written down and thought it was funny because we're all from Surrey. Yeah. How much is Apple Vision Pro? $3,500? Would you rather buy a pair? Or would you rather buy a pair? <laughs> A pair? The Apple Vision Pro headset. Or would you rather buy Cartier white buffs in the same price range? I ain't like you motherfuckers, man. I'll take the <laughs> Apple Vision Pro, brother. Yeah, I'll take the Apple Vision Pro, yeah, too. Apple and I know Vision a lot Pro. of motherfuckers. It looks pretty buffs. cool. That Series pretty evolving. Cool. Fuck the Cartiers. Out, Leave the Cartiers. <laughs> what, what would Drop you the Cartiers. <laughs> get our lilies up. Drop the Cartiers. <laughs> get our lilies up. <laughs> what do you say? Yeah, I'm saying Apple Vision Pro, for sure. Cardi's? No way. Are you <laughs> rather <really> get Cardi's? <laughs> Fucking wait, Cardi's wait, hold bro. up. No, You're, but like, Cardi's are sick, though. This guy sent me another New York link message. He says, Cardi's obviously, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> Yo. Yeah, Cardi's are actually sick, what I said. Yeah. Fuck, am I going to get Cardi's instead, bro? <laughs> fuck, the, fuck the Apple right, Vision Pro. No, no, fuck the Apple Vision Pro. Give me the fucking Cardi buffs, man. Hey, bro, let's, let's wrap this shit up. <laughs> no, we're not wrapping it up. I have one more quick story about India, man. Oh, this is the best story ever, actually. Listen up, folks. First event of India and wedding. just in case, sorry, just in case you click off at this moment and you come back to watch it again, subscribe so it oh. pops up on your feed. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. good. It's smart, man. It's smart. Too much Mr. Beast happening here. Last story, quick styles. I'm like saying it as a joke, but you're actually going to do it. We, uh, we wake up in the morning at a hotel after the pin party and we're away from the house. So we stayed in a hotel because we're in the pin away from the house we're staying in, right? So boom, next morning, wake place. up a little, little bit hungover. Not really, you know, you know, we're youngins. Wake up, but I party feel a little, smart. I feel a little party smart. <laughs> if you know, you know. Dude, you're talking about party smart. Okay, actually, if you guys want part two, please tell us. So. Yeah. Party smart is basically something that's supposed to help you not get hungover the next morning. It's literally a pill and it's called party smart only in India. Well, I took it. Maybe this, maybe this caused this in the morning. I woke up and uh, 
I wasn't hungover, so maybe party smart work. But also, my brain was kind of fuzzy. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if it was all the brain alcohol. Fog. Drink or a part. lot. Or, huh? Brain like fog. A lot. Brain fog brain a little bit, fog. right? So, yo, I feel a little slow, yo. I feel like a dumbass right now, yo. yo maybe I have extra chromosomes, but I don't know. I mean, no. If you're extra I mean, chromosomes, you, you're not dumb. You already do have one. You're superpower. Um, but, okay, I'm given the task by my cousin and his my cousin's friend to go to the whip, the car that we drove there in, that was parked at the entrance of the hotel. So I go down the escalator, I have the keys, I have to get a charger and whatever else water. I can find, water, if I find water, right? So boom, I go down. Oh, I see the car. I'm like, oh yeah, that's a car. It's a black Suzuki right there. Black, there's a Suzuki right there that we came in a Suzuki. I try unlocking it, the button. I'm like, oh, maybe, you know, India, sometimes the chubby don't work. Maybe you have to stick it in because it wasn't unlocking, right? Yeah. I'm like, okay, it's not unlocking. Let me stick the chubby in. Because it was locked, I tried opening it before. I turn it and boom, it unlocks. I'm like, okay. Um, go in, look around. I'm like, man, I feel a little... You kind of feel, feel Yo, where, where's all our stuff at? Where, where's our stuff, man? I swear the car looked different inside, but maybe I was like drunk, whatever. Maybe he cleaned it or something, right? Um, and there's a water bottle. I'm like, oh, thank God we all need water, right? We have no water. <laughs> Take this water bottle. I'm like, where's like, I swear I had like my camera bag there or something. I had something in the backseat. He's not there. I'm like, did somebody tax us? I don't know, man. Maybe it's somewhere in the trunk or something, right? I'm like, all right, close the door. Did you like stand outside out of confusion? Yeah, I don't know. Like, yeah, no, I'm not there. I'm going to do it. Close the door. I, I take a step back away from the car. <laughs> looking around. I look at the car. I'm like, okay. And then I go <laughs> up, right? I'm like, go up. I'm like, yo, I couldn't find the charger. Can I see my perspective here? We're trying to find charger. I, I couldn't find the charger. I just got this water bottle. And then everyone's like, oh, okay, nice. Everyone's drinking the water. <laughs> <laughs> right? Everyone's no, no, no. But and then, and then he came up. Like, I don't know. Like, I just feel so confused today. Like, I just sat, I just stood outside the car. I like, couldn't find her stuff. Like, yeah, I don't know. I just like, I don't know. I just feel so weird, bro. Yeah, I'm like, yo, that's I, what I he said to I first entered yeah. the hotel room after that. I'm like, yo, I feel so confused today. I don't know. I don't know what it is, right? And then, <laughs> and then wait, what was the? Mo- oh yeah, and then we and boom, now out, everyone's like, ready. Later. We check out of the hotel. We go back down, and I look outside. I'm like, the car's not there anymore. And then I see my cousin's friend that drove us here, and it's his car. He goes to like the side of the building where I didn't go to get the car. I'm like, wait, wait, why is he getting, why is he going to the side of the building? The car is supposed to be here, right? He's like, no, I parked here last night. You don't remember? You were like passed out. This guy was sleeping. You were sleeping. (laughs) At 4 a.m. He was sleeping in the car. He didn't know where we were going. You passed out last night in the car. I parked on the side instead of the front like we did in the beginning. I'm like, bro, I wanted some random guy's fucking car. Bro, we lost it. That's we crazy. lost Texas it. Water, dude. Bro, I couldn't bro. stop laughing, bro. bro. Everything added up, bro. I took somebody else's water, drew tub. Somebody's drinking water. Everyone else drinking. Finish that. I'm like, I'm like going through their wires and chargers and shit, trying to find our shit. I'm literally fully in the car. Like, was I'm there just, a security guard out there just watching you? The do security it? guard was there too. I was like, yo, why is this guy looking at me kind of sus, dude, right? <laughs> I like bad vibes. I was like, what? I swear to God, I'm not exaggerating this. I felt so vibe. I'm like, something is wrong. But you I just went, tell you, like, it's your intuition. It was yeah, it was intuition. That was crazy. Six cents for real. But yeah, I fully went through this random guy's car, got his water, <laughs> drank it. Um, and and the, way, the main bro. thing is, how did this guy's car open with Yeah, my so that's what I was about to ask you. How did it just open? I don't know. I guess Suzuki, <laughs> man, are you using the same fucking up, keyholes for every car? <laughs> so if you're in India and you're watching this, if you have a Suzuki key, it unlocks all Suzukis, apparently. Which <laughs> car was that? Was it a Maruti? No, it wasn't. Was this? Oh, no. Oh, no, man. I thought you were saying a different brand. I don't, I don't know what car it was, but fuck, man. It unlocked the car, bro. How is it my fault to think that's our car? It's yeah. not. Especially when you're fucking passed out in the back of the whip. That's the end, man. If you guys want part two, uh, talk about Matt, more. We couldn't, st- by the way, we could not. Like, I, I couldn't stop laughing. I kept bringing it up. I would die every single time. Bro, everyone died. We talked about funny. it for the next few hours. Like, in the, in the car, we're just like, every time we bring it up, we start, us three, me, me, my cousin, my cousin, we just start dying. and just start laughing. Auntie and uncle, I like, love that story as well. But yeah, subscribe, like, follow us on all platforms. Uh, follow our new main host. Uh, the owner of this podcast. Uh, uh, yeah. actually. $100 million to buy this pod. He just did it. Um, <laughs> We're rich, yep. baby. Dubai. <laughs> 100 see million see. rupees. See you soon, Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> love. Peace and love. Peace. One love.